We know we're good. Yep, we're all set. <laughs> Stupid as ever. That, that's a first. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Even, there's never been banter like that before the I just, I just look at well, it. Well, just... you purposely said that. You know I didn't say it's raining in here. <laughs> well, I said you have a jacket on. We're yeah. inside. You said, yes, it's raining. I said, and it's I raining, said, raining outside. No, you didn't say no, outside. No, no, you said it's raining. 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 You knew what I meant. And then I said it would be cold in here. Are we doing this? Whoa, why did I ask him? Are we doing this again? No, it's fine. I'll move on. Is it, uh, you're a guy who can wear a jacket inside. It's a good look. What do you mean? Yes. I'm a guy who can wear a jacket like, inside? There's, there's certain guys who, like, I can't wear it. Like, if I wear a jacket, I don't like wearing a jacket inside. I've like, worn uh, a jacket on like, like, like your program before. Like, like you, I'm you, not a hat guy, but I'm a jacket inside guy. Why, I mean, you're no, a hat guy. I'm not really a hat guy. You're a, you, you are. You are a hat guy. You Despite just don't know Dave you're a hat says, guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, right. Thank you, Mike. Uh, well, Dave Colnane is back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the former producer of the Kirk Minahan Show and the case. Uh, my pal, my great friend, my partner for two years yeah. has returned, <laughs> hat in hand, asking for his job back. And if he wants it, he can have it. You politely <laughs> asked him <laughs> <I'm> here. <laughs> you have a coffee in your car and you have a coffee in your hand. You yeah, so that? Mondays you are, coffee? you have to take advantage of the, you get the extra coffee on Mondays. Oh, we're back, Mike. Here we go. Yeah. Why, why, what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> you just do it. What is, do they have a deal or no? Yeah, you get a free coffee for every coffee you really? order on Mondays. Yeah, oh, I, didn't, I don't drink coffee. Yeah. Oh, now, right? the classy move of me would have been to bring the second one in and offer it to someone. One of the fellas? Yeah, you yeah, did not do that. But I finished the other one. Oh, you did? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was a peeing with that. Uh, I can hold my bladder pretty well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I would close the door, however. The skills you missed out back on. That. I didn't today. I took a big piss this morning. You You're different. You knew we were all here and nobody was coming out. I heard a lot of talk, a lot of laughs going on. So did you drive Mike to the studio today? No, no. but I thought about it and he, I he knew. You talked about how much you missed it. But yeah. really? No, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, no. I thought about texting him. Do you right? miss the drives with Mike? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Do you That's okay. probably Those are good times. Top three things I miss. Yeah. What are the other two? I hadn't thought of the other two yet. I'd be curious about that. Uh, so call names back. Uh, Mike is here as well. Um, uh, the Matthew Perry death was tragic, but Mike was in something far more tragic this week. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear about this? Uh, how did you figure it out? <laughs> you found an eyewitness. I did. I did. A very did. persistent picture taker. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Andy Nolan's brother, my yes. great uh, uh, buddy, Tim Nolan, my golf buddy, uh, sent me a picture first with Mike. And then with Mike's lovely girlfriend. That one was uh, solicited. I was not there for that. Yeah, that was, was I put that more under the OnlyFans category. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't around, so yeah. But yes, uh, as Matthew Perry would say, uh, and my friend Keanu Reeves is living happily today now. If you remember, Matthew Perry shit all over Keanu Reeves. He did, yeah. So, his final his last yes, goodbye. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame that Matthew Perry is dead and, and uh, Warthog's girlfriend, his wife now. Is his alive. wife. Wife. Yeah, that's right. Wife. Yep. Where was this event? Where did this it was take a big place? day. It was in Plymouth. Oh, it was okay. Yes, at the pizza place. No, no, no okay. it was nearby though. Was it? okay. Yeah. All right, it was good. Were you it the best a, man? It was. A lot. I certainly was. Oh, how was your speech? It was good. I kept it short and sweet. Okay. Well, let's hear some of it, Mike. Yeah. I said, uh, you know, I def Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as whatever. The no, I didn't say it. Go ahead. Continue. I'm not doing it. <laughs> well, well, <give> us, <laughs> I'm not dancing for you people. Well, 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 give us some of this. I told. I told a couple of nuggets about the warthog. Yeah. I've never seen you exchange any words with him. So I must didn't, have been, uh, must that day. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, that was Warthog backstage at Pullman. Yeah, they didn't say anything. They didn't say no. Yeah, they did. They just sat there the whole time and like, just nursed a beard. Like, Telepathically. Uh, you stared at Steve like Steve was like a god. Oh, he Steve loves Steve. Well, he is today. Yeah, Steve yeah, yeah. had a performance <laughs> of a lifetime. Ooh. Yeah. What a 72 hour run for him. Well, he's, not, like, well, he's not busy dunking on this random reporter. <laughs> yeah. the only guy I love when he does that, though. <laughs> when he's like, he's mix. been half drunk like, yeah. all morning. Oh, he's going after, go after the governor. Oh, too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is she shit face or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> I watched, I was like, I think it might be you, Steve. <laughs> the, I, I know you want it to be true. <laughs> the Warthog likes Steve so much, he's out murdering Maine residents right now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this thing going. Well, that story is wild. Uh, as I said, by the way, not to make this about me, but I did say this guy killed himself right away. Like, no, no question. Like he did this, killed himself, and then it was it's like it, it, very, very strange. But Steve's been all over it. I did tweet that he's or say in the air he's been down the middle, which is probably less true. Seventy-two hours. Later. <laughs> yes. He started he's out that way, but he can't help himself. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. help himself. But uh, the odd, can I say this though? The odd thing about Steve is he's covering this murder case. He texted me last night. And he goes, is old dad's worth watching? <laughs> <laughs> I actually gave it a watch. It, it's not great. No, I, I enjoyed it. Sure, you did, Mike. I the, gave uh, Steve the real rundown. 
What, but when you do that, I've been in that. Dave's been in that. When you're in that true crime, sometimes you need to get away for an hour. Okay. Two, you know? All right. Yeah, that's laughs. what I was curious about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old Dad's back home? Yeah, don't go to that movie for laughs. No. It's not great. Terrible? Well, no. It's, it's, Bill Burr's not funny. Yeah. Well, I told Steve, I was like, a lot of people say it's just an old man bitching about, you know, wokeness. And Steve goes, well, that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's Steve's kind of movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, I guess well, so we have a bunch of things to get to. But I guess we'll start with Matthew Perry dying. I famously have never seen the episode of Friends. Yeah. Um, I don't. I didn't think Matthew Perry was very funny. So you know, I, I'm sad that he's dead, but I didn't. Like, I got. I kind of got. You've always shit. It's on. a good you, show. You shit on Friends all the time. On no, I never program. saw it. I never saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Is Matthew Perry sarcastic on the show? I never really got that. <laughs> a little bit. Well, Friends was yeah. fantastic. Just a fantastic show. It's, it's a, good for people uh, like you. Yeah. It's yeah. a very good sitcom in that way. Yeah, yeah, but that's exactly sitting closer than most people. I said that. I love it though. It's good. It. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I maybe push them a little. It's nice. They, they, they belong together. Yeah. 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 What's that, Mike? I'm sorry. Well, you're you're a fan of, of Friends, right? I, yeah. I think if you like, sit, like, I like How I Met Your Mother too. These aren't a thinking man's show. No, no it's but very I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. He's very funny on it, and it's very. No matter what, uh, it's just an. I guess I have to say I wasn't bowled over with shock when the when the news came. I hate to say that. Mm-hmm. But, so, no. but but you know I, I feel terrible. I don't know. But we don't even really know, right? We think he had a heart attack in a jacuzzi. Well, yeah, the toxicology report hasn't come out yet. I yeah, thought okay, that's that's right. Kevin Quincy will get that. Yeah, that's what I was asking. He seemed very upset about that. Well, it's just a loser thing to say in that spot. Out of every, the toxicology report hasn't come out yet. No, but it's a lo- like he was saying it in a way like we have to wait and see if drugs were in the in his system. Like right. it was a dickheaded thing for him to say on one minute man for the seventeen year old yeah, girls on we, TikTok. Well, I mean, <laughs> how many views did it get? That's what it's all about, baby. What? You know, I mean, he actually he actually earned his followers on TikTok. I bought a thousand. Yeah. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, ninety percent of those left twenty four hours. Did later. they really? I only bought it to go live on TikTok. How much did it cost? Uh, I think it was like thirteen dollars or something. Okay, it's yeah. a good purchase. We didn't yeah. spend a dime, Kirk. How many are we at now? Four. We're we're at like fourteen hundred. Unbelievable. Wow. Fourteen hundred followers. We're not to the moon. And you dance for this wow. guy at the end of every show now with your stupid top five <laughs> top or a thousand people. Whatever. Hey, they're cooking. They're hey, doing they're, well. Those are loyal people. If you can, yeah. you just build it slowly. Yeah. Although I I put up the. Uh, after the Lewiston shooting, I put up that video. Now, after, of the Lewiston shooting? No, no, no. You're, <laughs> you're, 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 you're now we're talking about that. That'll get views. <laughs> no. So I put up the clip of you talking about it, and the next video I put up is at zero views and is pending review. So stay oh. woke. I think they may be on to us. Yeah, um, I could see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I, I, I had a very level down the middle take on it. It wasn't exactly. It wasn't That's what I agree. Left or right? Not enough for TikTok. Nothing will change. And the, it's true, though. But, I mean, there were like seven more shootings this weekend. But I think, like, things have changed to some capacity. Like, well, they've well, passed why laws. Why don't you educate me? Like, what? Well, I'm not saying, I'm, but they passed <laughs> what laws. What do you mean you're not saying? You are saying. Like, aren't there stricter mental health check backgrounds and oh, stuff yeah? like, like that? Oh, yeah, like with this guy? With who? That guy? Yeah, they that guy. They guy. fucked that guy. That that guy. They, they fucked, fucked that up. Guy? No, they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. They no, fucked up. They should have taken his guns. <laughs> Get over here. Yeah, they should have taken over. I'm not saying it's perfect, but there, like, there was change, I believe. There's more shootings now than ever. Yeah. Yeah, somebody DM me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> well, you brought it up. I, we, we, oh, somebody, I mean, I think somebody, who, who something, d- can, who, something can change, right? Who DM right? me? I'll see where this is heading. Who no, DM no, no, no. I'll get no, to no, that no, later. No no. no, 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 no. I was just what? about to say change. Somebody DM me audio that there's more abortions now after everything with the Supreme Court than there ever was because people are going to different states to get abortions. Oh, congratulations. Yes. So, yes, wow. it's called abortion tourism. Really? Yes. Oh, we should do that for a live show. I would <laughs> do that. There you yeah. go. You'd have to bring Steve back for that, obviously. That seems only right. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, so anyway, yeah, Matthew Perry. So, yeah, I mean, I, I hopeful. well, it doesn't matter to me if there's drugs in the system or not. It's just that uh, the guy battled this thing forever, obviously. He was not very healthy. And it's uh, fucking terrible. You know, Amy was on an episode of 90210, season one. I had, this is the one of the first ones I've had where you have, where I genuinely, without irony or anything, I was like, ah, damn, Jennifer Anderson really tried to help. I she, wonder what she, she's thinking. She really you know? did. Yeah. All, all day, every day. <laughs> she was always in this house. I wonder what it were, and I did think it was a little weird. Not that I, I do whatever you want, but I had, I did, it, then none of them put out a statement. That's a lot. I think they're waiting. That, that's something there be was like, something. No, that's oh. definitely going to be like a jo- team, a like joint, joint video. There's a headline that Lisa Kudrow is going to take his dog or something like that. Oh, is that true? She's going to adopt oh, the good. dog. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's nice important. move. Um, yeah. Well, uh, Jason Priestley waited a few days after Luke Perry died. Okay. Yeah, and then now to the community, I'm not. I'm in many message boards. One of the few. And they were like, "What the? This is how this is how people get there. Like, what the fuck? Maybe Jason's an asshole. Like, yeah. why is he? Re- but it's like they're also Monica. Hello, your yeah. children are fatherless now. But they're also like good friends with this guy. So right. I think it seems. So like all the thing. shit I did see with them, mm-hmm. he was like never really a part of their get-togethers. You know, they did the reunion. 
right. was the last one to walk out at the reunion. Well, that doesn't like, mean you do see the girls together all the time. I mean, there's the definitely guys. some shit from during filming too. Like, wasn't I thought he was like coked out for all of a. He had some issues. He seemed like the most yeah. exhausting to work with. I imagine. Yeah. Oh, did he? <laughs> Is that what channel we're doing? Though? How are you doing? Could I be any more? Oh, there you go. Yes, there you go. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, for, you know, sad. I feel bad for Keith Morrison. That's a stepfather. The guy Dayline, from Dayline right? NBC. Yep. That's really? a stepfather. Yes. Yeah. Oh, why don't you take my shirt off? What do you mean? That's the Keith Morrison. Just sit down. That's Chris Hansen. Oh yes! <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck. I'm thinking of the uh, Bill, I'm thinking of the Bill Hader impression. Keith Spe- Morrison. He yes. does do Keith Boy. Jeez. Spe- oh yes. What was that? What's wrong with you? Oh, he's off. Call names he's here. Off. It's all hard. I don't know. I don't know my role anymore. anymore. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. in the room. This is a very <laughs> awkward position. Like this is this chair does suck. We've confirmed I've appreciated that. Appreciated him bitching about the chair. Yeah, this do, right? does suck. Well, you you ignored Guest Forever who said that. Yeah, because yeah, but now it's in this shirt. Right. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, Dave, uh, did, uh, Dave did come in and go, I like what you guys are done with the place. Pretty nice. Huh? <laughs> Coleman put the stupid fucking camera in my face. So what am I going to say to that? What happened to the little TV? <clears throat> it's gone for now. We can bring it back in when yeah. needed. Okay. All right. We got a TV even smaller than the old TV. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah nice. What? You bring it back to your house so you can play your video games? Yeah. That's definitely what That's it is. Exactly I didn't even notice. Happened. That's definitely what I mean, happens. a disgraceful weekend from these producers, social media wise. Just like a, z- a 0.00000. 000 000. You didn't like that Gus was giving the show a little bump by tagging yeah. them? Uh, what are you doing? That that was a, I got out of the shower and saw a notification that I got a video submission, the first one to come in. So Ooh, I got excited. What does that, sexy image. What does that have to do with anything? So I, I don't care where you, what's up? You came out of the shower. What's fucked up to do that? It was just an ADHD tweet. <laughs> I was all sudsy, I, I, I was excited that I got my first email why don't you, submission. But why do you tag the, the show on the tweet? Why I don't, don't you t- tweet I, from the show account? Well, because then the other one, I wanted to add a little more detail and quote tweet like I did no, after. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I then called you, know, you all for it. Then you called it out for yeah. correctly, but I was going to tweet it from the show account tagging who the submission came in from. But, but why would you just do it from... Because I wasn't thinking in the moment. I just got out of the shower. I mean, but <laughs> any tweet that relates to the show in, in any... You've shower, Kirk. No, it was, it was a bad decision. It's not going to happen again from my account. That's the show Twitter account stinks. Delete it. Fucking stinks. It. Who cares? It stinks. Yeah. You want to take it over? You've offered no, before. Oh, no, no, no. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Get rid of it. Only people just want to hear from you. That's all they want. What do you mean? You know? What are you talking about? They just no, want your takes. They just want your tweets. They don't give a shit about highlights of the show. So should I just help. delete my actual account? And run you the just, Kirkman Yeah, yeah I just do it from your show account. I'll yeah. buy your account. I'll buy your followers from you. How much? <laughs> How much? They're probably all spam too. Fifteen thousand divided by you'd give me a discount, right? Obviously, sure. yeah, of course, yeah. Three hundred seventy-five dollars for, for the. That's it for the whole account. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. like ten years of that account. Well, you don't tweet that much. Not I, a lot I, of engagement I, on there. That's not true. I get good re- response when I tweet. Add a lot more than fucking Cullinane. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I, I, wow. I, I think I get a good response. So, on so my, just doing the math, Kirk, quickly. Thank you, Gus. Yeah. If you get the same rate that uh, Cullinane bought his TikTok subscribers at, you could charge him fifteen hundred dollars. Mm. Okay. Yep. Mm. Well, well, Dave okay. wanted a family mm. discount. I did get my phone bill reimbursement, so we have a little extra money to play with. We didn't negotiate. I called that. We didn't negotiate. I I actually came into a few thousand dollars recently. That was you holding off until you didn't have a job so you could kind of get money for a month. No, that's absolutely not. I don't think he would have thought that far ahead No, that's ridiculous to say. He's a snake. No, it's more more embarrassing to like just submit like $40 at a time, $70 at a time. Why just tell me? But all we do is shit. Because... First of all, we didn't talk really that much. We don't like you could have No, not about like Dave. business stuff. It's not like I no what are you talking about. You no, not like little expenses like that. We never talked about it. You said to me, like hey, I, I got fifty I've been like, all right, well send it over to me and I'll it send it. It just didn't work out like that. I, I don't know. This is a different environment. We didn't like associate with anyone from Barstool, so I felt bad asking for reimbursements. And then I thought like, oh, it comes out of Kirk's like I don't know. I just never did it. Well, it still does come out of Well then did it after when you realized that it was a fo- like those were phone calls that were part of your content. Like I didn't, right. I didn't uh, try to get reimbursed for like wires that I bought right, or shit right, like right. that. No, that's I got what you. I, no, I that's what I mean. I, I, you should have been reimbursed. I, I just, if you had done it earlier, it would have been, yeah, been stupid. Fine. I should have done it quarterly. That's what I should have done. I think I said that on the Jeff D. Lowe episode. Who can forget? Which, by the way, that's stupid prick. <laughs> like, <laughs> was his Jeff? whole thing like <laughs> Socko, stupid bro- Socko broke people? Was that whole, was that his thing? Why are you squinting so much? The lights. I don't know. I don't <laughs> like the spot. And I don't like the eye contact with you right now. Like, we used to, we used to, no, not like this. This is. You're intimidated. It's actually, it's like weirdly pleasant, but I'm uncomfortable. It's like, a, I like that you're I'll, looking at me, but I don't like that I'm looking back. I'll say we did an episode. Then fucking, uh, put, put a fucking mask on. What do you want me to say? No, I, I gotta get used to it. That's okay. okay. Or what are your kids dressing up for Halloween as? Uh, Alina, 
from Avalar, which is a Disney show, I believe. Oh, I don't know that one. And Chase has gone from Sky from Paw Patrol last year. She she was ah. the pink Paw Patrol character into Spider Man this year. So we have developed a little bit, which is good. Oh, that's good. Yes, that's nice. Yeah. Do you have a busy neighborhood? Uh, no, I'm on a main road, so we just get out of there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did trunk or treat on Friday night, though. How was it? No drinking, no jello shots. Really? What's Almost like someone ratted them out last year. Maybe, maybe something <laughs> changed. I don't know. Unbelievable. Yeah. Does that principal still talk to you even though you're not in the show? Yes, but I've blatantly, I hope he listens to this because I'm more comfortable doing this than sure. talking to him. I've blatantly kept my head down every time he passes me in the car line because I don't want to interact with him. Why? The last thing he ever said. Because you don't produce a show anymore? Yeah, and the way it all went down, the last thing he ever said is a wait, Coleman guy. Now. Well, what was what went down? <laughs> like just the last 30 days or like all that stuff. It was just f- awkward. It was fine. No, I it? thought it was fine too, but I just, with other people, I, I don't know, their perception of the whole thing. I, I didn't give a shit. Even, but, if they're, I, even if they're supportive, you don't want to hear like, oh, that's not, a, we, that's I, not like a, you should have, right. you know. That's not like a normal workplace activity. Mike, somebody. I guess, is Dave's spokesman today. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, as opposed to the last 30 days. Oh, Jesus. Holy fuck. Brutal. I did want to bring up that. Dave's final words about me on the show were that I was too mean to him. I agree. <laughs> it's crazy. I happen to agree with that. <laughs> what the fuck he's the talking about? The principal's last words to me before, I think it was last Thursday, was anybody but Gus. That oh, was, was not that a lie. Uh, Every other tweet I've said about shit was a lie. That was not a lie. I don't know, what, yeah. Tweet about what? I don't like, know. I think I tweeted like somebody came up to me and said something about Mick. Somebody came up to me That's and said right. something about Montante. Oh, these, total, are, these are total lies. The only thing was anybody but Gus. Yeah. 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 I'm starting wow. to feel that way too. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Don't blame him. <laughs> no, I like Gus now. I like you do. Yeah. Why well, didn't you I like do. him then? I don't like being near him. No, nobody does. Yes, yeah. but that's Coleman's he, life. We were talking the other day, and he said his brother wanted to call in and yeah. agreed with me. The magician, or no, 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 my brother, the, the <laughs> oh. military brother. He's only wanted to call into the show two times. One was to agree with Dave uh-huh. of being like next to me and knowing the nervous energy, and the other one was when I was on. Your mic sounds like shit. It does. Yeah. Is this better? A little bit. The same mic, I think. It should be. That's better. Yeah. Uh, the other situation was when I was on 500 milligrams, he just wanted to know that to keep me quiet my whole life. Okay, good. Ah. Recap that again later. <laughs> I'm sorry for bringing it up. Jesus Christ. Christ. I can tell Gus good, doesn't good care for me. So <laughs> Who, Gus? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, Why, Mike? I, his, the way he's referred to the way I bring up stories about him from before the show. You don't like Mike? He got very angry like about that this morning, I know. What's your issue with Mike? No, because well, I... I was going over some topics with Coleman. I said, did you see the dozen news? And then Mike starts to laugh. And I'm like, oh, you're going to bring this up. And I was, I was saying it was big breaking news, but it wasn't. It was just <laughs> he news referred related to the dozen. Well, yeah. What's the news? Just how there's a couple team changes. That's true. And then we have one, two teams already in. Chicago and uh, Foreplay are in uh-huh. the regular. Okay. And then, uh, what was it? TJ Hutz- Hutchins lost his other two teammates. So we took an entire team. Pitching. Hitchings. That's the guy with the, the, the annoying dad? Yes. yes. Okay, yep. So he's he, the one who lost all the weight, right? Yes. Yeah, he seems like a nice kid. No, have you ever dealt with him or no? Yeah, uh, yeah. just passed in yeah. passing at the end. Yeah. yeah. Tweets yeah. every day that he ate a salad. It's great. Great yeah. follow. It's good so, streak. Christ. So <laughs> Megan, Megan making money's team is now the baddies. That's right. And then I think that guy is gone, right, from the company? The fighter? Patty? I think. Oh, I don't oh, know. I didn't know. I think he probably costs a lot of money. He, d- he does cost yeah. a lot of money, yeah. yeah. Wasn't there like a... I think. I don't know that. Wasn't there an incident that he... Didn't he leave on bad terms or something? Or am I, maybe I was fooled by some wrestling thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think he's with the company anymore. I don't think. I could be wrong. I'm not sure, actually. I also it, could be wrong. I don't know. But there he was, was probably a pen wrong. thing. He was probably a pen is thing. Is Molly then? Like, what is it? Would it be the both of them? Coleman, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Molly in weeks. I don't know even know who that is, but yeah. Meatball Molly. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm still grieving over Matthew Perry. Fair. <laughs> it would have been a decent, it's very sad he died. Um, it would have been an interesting bet two weeks ago to make which of the two co-stars of the whole nine yards would die first. I'm just saying that I, it's not tasteful, but I'm just saying that. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I probably would have taken Bruce Willis. I think so too. But Matthew Perry was really, like, you know, has really gone through a lot. I, I hope, I wish Matthew Perry were alive and I hope Bruce Willis lives to be 100 and gets cured. I'm just saying it would have been an interesting. I don't know how bad is the disease that Bruce Willis has. Very bad. Does that affect your health or just your mind? You just stop. Like, you forget how to swallow and okay. stuff like that. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I would have gone with Bruce, I think. Matthew Perry fucked a lot of hot chicks. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> he did, right? Well, it was like, like he, he wants a, a little tribute for him. Look Go up ahead. that list. Look up that list yeah. for me. I think Julie I looked Roberts, it up a little bit. Julie Roberts, he dated. Yep. Oh, Selma Hayek, I oh, believe that's right, he did. because she did that appearance on Friends. Yep. She was, on, was she on Friends? He okay. dated Selma Hayek? I think he did. After that movie? Uh, Gwyneth From Paltrow, uh, Julia Roberts, Rachel Dunn, Cameron Diaz, Lizzie Kaplan, Molly Hurwitz, I'm Valerie very, I'm, I'm very attracted to Lizzie Kaplan. I don't think she gets the respect she was on that show. Uh, she was on that show, Masters of Sex, which yes. she's very attractive. Yes. Yeah. She's, right. a, she's a handsome woman. Yep. Go ahead. Um, going down the list. That was like his. They should love read of his this life, list at the right? funeral, I think. I agree. <laughs>
is. I'm not sure. You fuck somebody from Baywatch? Hasselhoff. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. He put out a nice statement. <laughs> That's it. Gentle lover. That was everyone on that list. David Shell Shev. What's his name? Shev. No, 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 the guy from Baywatch. Oh no! Oh no, shit! Uh, <laughs> uh, Brooke no. Burke's husband. Um, yes, that's how Dave thinks. Shabair that's the way whatever. Dave's brain works. <laughs> well, that's it's, all like, it's all like celebrity. Just, it's all like celebrity <laughs> spots in his head. There's nothing of substance. Oh, Brooke Burke's husband. <laughs> well, I think it was Bruce Willis at one point, right? I don't really? know that. Was it Bruce know. Willis with Brooke Burke? Am I making that too? Was that Brooke Burns? Am I getting? Yeah, I don't think so. Might have been. Brooke Burns. Okay. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, very sad. Yeah. Brooke Burns. A very nice tribute, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. Although I'm not a big, I was never a big Julia Roberts guy. Oh, come on. Just can, a lot of, yeah. lot going on. Yeah. A very, just a lot going on. Kind of just like a, like a, your friend's mom sort of thing. Like a very plain lady look. It's a good thing though. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I, I, like I don't mean in like oh, a, just, I don't mean in a plain porn, looking. I don't mean in a porn way. I mean like in a real life way, kind of. Mm. No, no, she's no. more elevated than that. But like Pretty Woman, she just wasn't for me. Yeah. But Matthew Perry, she was, was she that much older than Matthew Perry or no? Probably not, because she was young when she started. They're probably about so. the same age, right? Oh, was, no, she's older. What was he, mid-50s? He's, he's two years older. Yeah. She's only 56? Yes. Jesus, she's been around That picture long. in the jacuzzi, like he he still had money like that? Like that. Friends money is Friend, He was wild, making right? a million dollars an episode. Wild. And then and like the, who knows how yeah, much yeah, since then. Yeah, they got the huge... With the HBO Max thing too, I think they made like a fucking fortune. Yeah. Did they make a ton on that? Yeah, I think they, they made a yeah. shitload on that, like fifty million each or something. Okay, some crazy number. Crazy. Who would you, if you replace somebody else on Friends to die and bring Matthew Perry? Were you okay with him? Or would you swap him with somebody if you could? Of the main cast, Schwimmer probably. Okay, Lisa. No, Kudrow. but Schwimmer still. Lisa Kudrow famously an asshole. I like Lisa. I, Kudrow, I don't like her. She's whole been good. Vibe. She had a good role in. Uh, she the comeback was a good show. Yeah, was what was okay. she in? Was it the comeback? Yeah, it was okay. Comeback was good. It was okay. She had a good role in Easy A, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's yep. true. Yep. Yep. She's famously like a bad person. Okay, well, but I don't know. I don't have to interact with these people. Either. That's true. It's a good point. What else is going on? Um, so I did have in, in relation to Matthew Perry, uh, just a pulled clip that was coming up on my timeline of him talking about. Uh, Al- What's your take on Coleman handling the story so far? Dave? <laughs> I think he's great. I have no problems with that whatsoever. Okay. He's doing a great job. Forget it. Go ahead. I'm a team guy through and through. Always have been. What team? Your team. <laughs> You're part of my team still? I'm, I'll always be part of it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. When you came begging to come back, invite me back in here this weekend, I was. Like <laughs> I said, anytime. Happy to, anytime. Read the, happy to read the text again if you like. <laughs> we can read the text. I just said, hey, I'd love to have you. If you anytime, was the, it was on. like, uh, are you ready to come in? I was like, what, well, what am I, I well, going through counseling well, or some well, shit? Well, I know some people. Some people are. It's, it's kind of a thing. That's all. Oh, no. Even we, I gave it two months till I yeah, came crawling back. Generally, you know, but I was crawling back. That's true. That is true. Oh, no, we left Sacco Monday morning. We go live. We just move on. That's it. Who's we? Me. The hits. I just you just gotta move on. You just gotta <laughs> keep going. You just gotta keep going. We. Yes, the hits. Me and the hits. You asked me if I had anything to promote. I just tried to weasel it in. Yes. That's all. No, that's fine. I promote learned from away. Mike. I learned away. Yeah. Promote away. Um, we should promote the show as much as you promote the hits when you were on the show, but that's fine. What uh? What do we have? Uh, so I don't know if you saw the clip of uh, this professional hockey player Adam Johnson getting a slice uh, to yes. the neck from the skate. Yes. Um, I found it because Jerry retweeted a take on it. Jerry uh, Callahan. Yes. Oh, what was his um, take on it? He retweeted. Jerry, by the way, was I did check in because I was when something like Matthew Perry. I want to see what Jerry's. Jerry always finds like he retweeted Morgan Fairchild tweeting about Matthew Perry. He always finds <laughs> yeah. a, no a same thing. It, it was some random account. Yeah, uh, but he's said, he's been a fountain of misinformation during this, <laughs> during this Lewis so thing. Was he, re- this? he retweeted the person saying that this guy was a sex offender. Yep. yep. He then retweeted these people. That's one of my things about the world now is everybody needs a story to include themselves somehow in the story, like. People around here wanted this guy to be in Massachusetts, like on the run. I was scared. So, so I'm sure you were. Yeah. People were t- t- do the math in your head. What are the odds this guy's going to go to your house and shoot you? Right. No, but you're still uncomfortable. But I knew there was like no- I, when I got to my daughter's school and didn't see a police car there. I was pissed off. I'm a pussy. What did you want? You want police at? at I in, just read in, the tweet that he could be in that Weymouth he, because a guy in Walpole. It's a, I beg your pardon. Walpole. Walpole. Weymouth is not a W town. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, I'm not sure what poll either. <laughs> <laughs> Route one, if Route one's on that. Cool. I understand the question, but no. If Route yeah. one, how far are you? How many miles? How far are you away from Route one? Me personally, I'm very close. I'm like less than a mile. I bet. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you qualify. Yeah. Um, like we want police at every school in America. No, but I just felt uncomfortable. But, but especially the guy, but, reading but the that guy wasn't on 93 though. I know, but they, people, but they knew but there were reputable people who were speculating about that. Like they were speculating. Reputable. 
Who? Sure, news news stations were tweeting that out. I that know, there's a chance that my he point is, is that's crazy to even report that though because it's not news. It's hey, there's a chance he's here based on what? Uh, yeah, well, uh, they, they were hearing there yeah. was a, weren't they hearing that the last known they spotted the license plate at the ninety three? You know, yeah, but that wasn't true. Uh, we right. have a caller coming in. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, oh yeah. Hello. Hello, this is Principal Frickley with the Walpole. Um, the what? Kindergarten. Walpole. Where are you? Walpole. 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 Is, that, is that Walpole? Hey, did, I, you say, did you say Walpole? I didn't hear you, sir. Bad connection. Well, yeah, Walpole. 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 Yeah, it's Walpole. getting better. It's yeah. the act. It's the Boston act. The classic <laughs> Boston act. Yes. Hello, Principal. How are you? Uh, yeah, we got some concerning information in terms of uh, drop off pay. Mm -hmm. We have you listed as an emergency contact for Dave Cullinan. Okay. If he's not there, can I speak directly to, to everybody? Sure. Okay, yeah, concerning issues with the drop-off. So, obviously, we have, you know, costume week. Uh, Chase, it's nice to see Chase didn't show up like a complete sissy in his pink fucking costume <laughs> this year. That's, a, that's an upgrade. Right, but when he true. showed up, when he showed up dressed as Spider-Man, mm -hmm. um, and, and I simply asked, oh, can you shoot webs out of your fingers? He said, yeah, but Grandma told me I could shoot webs from somewhere else, but I'll learn when I'm older. <laughs> so, we, we find that completely... Oh, wait uh, a minute, I don't... <laughs> Is that right? Did you mention that? Dave, do you want to speculate what he's talking about? I, I, so can't, I, can't kid school. I can't speculate on these things. Okay, this guy won't talk to you face to face, but he's calling in. I know, he's a pussy. Yeah, he's a pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, completely, inappropriate. Yeah. completely inappropriate. Also, Grandma Kathy um, sure. reached the booth, as usual, but was dressed as railroad track. And when I asked what that was for, she Go said ahead. it's when the, train, when the train comes running through later. So again, inappropriate stuff from the colony. Yes. <laughs> if, you can, if you can, if you can, if you can, you're just a sicko. Just, <laughs> it's, hang up on the guy. It's, it's not right. That's that. I, I only, I only yeah. got some principle. Uh, it didn't sound like it. Actually, yeah. I see why that person was very excited to tell that second joke. Yeah. <laughs> Is your mother having a train run? On? She is not. Okay. How's Kathy doing? Doing great. I yeah. had to help them out in a big spot on Saturday night. What happened? Uh, their car broke down in their Braintree, Massachusetts. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And uh, Big Jack was not happy that AAA was taking a little bit too I long think to Big get Jack's kind of Why guy I ought to? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Big Jack's the kind of guy who could take care of that problem himself. Uh, the car was overheating uh, and all this all this shit. Yeah. 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 Maybe we'll call him Little Jack. Yeah. What was that, Dave? Uh, Maybe we'll call him Little Jack. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> He was a masculine. I like hearing him on the phone. It was funny, but he sounded like a pussy. It oh, was he, weird. Yeah. Everyone's a pussy in your it's world. Like, where the right fuck now? are you? Should I have brought a sleeping bag? I'm like, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Wow, there's a lot going on with you, Dave. Dave. Holy <laughs> shit, you loser. Just wait it out. So it happens when people get older, though. Yeah. You start seeing this. It's yeah. true. When you hear Coleman play drops, are you? is it like looking at someone that found like dinosaur my bones? My or? My <laughs> how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> he conquered that board that Steve put together. <laughs> what a week this week, by the way. Dave is here today, of course. We welcome him back. Mike is here, blindmike.net. Dave calling the Play the hits on um, where do I get that? Uh, TikTok. Let's do TikTok. It's on TikTok. Yeah, that's that's not the I one I see. Followers, on... so I look the best on. What's the TikTok account? Uh, play the hits. Oh really? You got the, just at play the hits? No, it's probably like play dot hits or whatever. I mean, probably. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking look it up. All right, I'm, I've gone viral <laughs> twice already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty four thousand views on one of my videos. Wow, yeah, that's viral. Yeah, so that definitely. means we've gone viral a couple times then. Oh, Dave, Shut up. Is, is Dave knows. Guy. Just, just <laughs> Dave knows. Based on the numbers. Dave famously, the first tweet we ever did from the case TikTok got three, and he just kept retweeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you not reposted that video yet? <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, 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 Tuesday, tomorrow, my 50th birthday party, we have uh, Mike Manansky and Ryan Whitney. Uh, Thursday, Mike, that's okay. You're back. Sure. With Steve Robinson. That's exciting. And then Friday, I had scheduled, I thought, Justin Trudell and Boner Salad. And I'm surprised the one that backed out. It well, like. he b backed out with the team. With the team? He and Boner Salad are a package. <laughs> sure. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? I've heard about this. Yes. Yeah. So he messaged me or, 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 or texted me and said, hey, I just found out. <laughs> this is something I never thought I'd see from a human being. Yeah. Hey, I just found out Boner Salad lives in Japan. <laughs> I call cap on that. I, I'm, I'm curious. I agree. He said, but, uh, and I tweeted that. He's like, oh, just like, I'm only coming anytime. I was like, it's, it's okay. I'm not mad at you. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. So, I, I think you said Justin backed out. Well, with, as a Boner Salad representative. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. He, I, His he, manager. He speaks for Boner Salad. <laughs> yeah. So he said, let me show you. I think I have that right. Um, Unfortunately, I just found out Boner Salad is currently living in Japan. That is unfortunate. I'm <laughs> doing what I can, but it appears doubtfully can be in on Friday. He's That's working his phone. Justin pays for a, a plane private plane for him. Yeah. To, uh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I said, I know I'm just kidding around. Then Justin, because I said, you said more than happy to come over your legs. I'm just kidding around about the tweets. Then Justin did something even worse. He said, I know. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really problematic. Winky face. Yeah. That's my so Boner Salad lives as they used to say in the land of the Orient back in the inappropriate days. I don't days. believe these guys, I don't yeah, believe These guys are also calling bullshit on that. I don't know why I, they don't believe him. I, I'm, I'm not little, buying I have a little why? relationship with Boner Salad. It doesn't Salad. seem like he's been DMing me just random shit like that. You from Japan? Are the R, no, all the R's can, and L's are in the right place? Is what Coleman <laughs> said? Like, it's, a, it's a program for children. <laughs> no, he wished me a happy MILF Monday today. Same here. I didn't get that. Nah, well, I that's got, not uh, as personal now. I forget what thir- I forget what Thursday was, but it was something. I got the same type of message. Taco Thursday? Something like that. Okay. He said something else, too. I'll uh, get in trouble. He doesn't like when I get these wrong. Thumb Dick Thursday. There you go. Thumb oh, Dick you got Thursday. That's exactly right. I don't, get, I don't interact everybody's with this guy. Them, I guess. What the yeah. fuck? I don't know. Is it MILF Monday a real thing, or is that a boner salad thing? It feels like a boner salad thing. Okay. Well, it's MILF Monday. That's great. That's how I, these I things want him to lay out the rest of the days of the week, though, because now we got Thursdays and Mondays. Oh, another caller. Okay. Probably another one, yeah. What the fuck is that ringtone? Oh, what is that? Is that Harry know. Potter or something? No. Okay. It's trash. Doesn't it sound like that for a second? Like Harry Potter? A little like, bit. No. Yeah. Hello. Kirk, it's the Dice Man. Hello. How are you doing, Dice? <laughs> What's the difference between Ross and Chandler? <sighs> what? What is the difference, Dice Man? One, one's a swimmer. One's a non swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty that's, good. That's good. Uh, Dice, no, that's, that's terrible. Like that. That's terrible, <laughs> That's not right. I, that's if that's been out there, I have not seen it. Yet. That's pretty I'm good. I'm gonna guess it's been out there. Okay. <laughs> I was telling Mike when uh, when I found out about Matthew Perry, one of the first tweets I saw was his like, "Can I be any more sad?" Yes. And then everyone proceeded to do everyone that. Everyone copied yeah. me. Oh, it's yep. incredible. But, yeah, but Mike was, was incredible. I know. Mike tweeted. <laughs> I, I was like, "What are we doing though? Like the man's dead, and we're just dancing." Guys like on Mike are dancing on his grave. Yeah, yeah I happened. No, I was sad. Guys at a fucking <laughs> rehearsal dinner. He just, just keep his mouth <laughs> shut, but he can't help but weigh in. I like that. There were some people that were like, "What's wrong?" <laughs> <laughs> How was the like? What was the scene at the wedding? What was the what kind of wedding? Were it we was pretty, pretty. Uh, pretty you weren't invited, Pretty David. traditional. To, I don't even You're know. You're a big wedding dog. guy. Oh, you know. Oh, I would have gone. gone but yeah. I'll tell you, this is this is back when uh, when he first got engaged. Clemmer was still on the show, and you know the Warthog's a big Clemmer guy. Sure, well, yeah. And I remember making a joke. Like, oh, did you invite Clemmer? And he goes, I thought about it, but I ended up not. And I was Jesus. like, wait, you thought about it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to invite Steve. Steve, I mean, that would be a big get. Steve, Steve, would, give, Steve would have given a speech, right? Well, Steve couldn't do that th- this past weekend. No, it was tough. He was it would have been deep tough. In, yeah, he was working. working we need to hear Mike's speech. We need that. Yeah, Mike, what the fuck? We need that. Video. I mean, I don't, rem- I kind of just, I told a couple stories about him. I didn't, I don't think it was that crazy. Yeah. I think he'd be underwhelmed if you heard it. I thought I got a that. little of uh, Gus's vows the other day. What do you mean? I, he was playing vows, I think. Yeah, I had the the vows from it, the, the spot where I dropped the Julia the Carl line in it. Where? Was, what are you talking? When about? I was in the Cancun. Fuck it. What is it? What are you talking about? What vows from your wedding? Yeah. What are you talking about? Would you hear, you heard him say? You, were, you, you were just playing, playing the video. He was just like playing them out loud. You're a weird guy. So weird. <laughs> no, strange. I was looking for audio. That's on so it. that's so needy. Why? For what? Why? For what purpose? For Coleman to hear it. For right. drop. exactly. <laughs> for and then for Coleman to bring it up. On what? The show. That guy's <laughs> no, oh, yeah, an unbelievable drop of myself, Coleman. <laughs> well, let's hear it then. Why not? I, I don't have it. It wasn't good. It the audio quality was shit. I don't know. Who recorded? How did Gus hear it? I mean, how did I, Coleman hear why it? Why is I just heard it in passing the other because day? Because we didn't do a video. We just did pictures from the ceremony, and I had my phone in the back, and I put like a uh, microphone next to the speaker, and it didn't work out because I wanted to record it for family members who couldn't make it to Cancun. Okay, but if the audio was shitty, how did Coleman hear it? <laughs> <laughs> because I, I know was, what it was. Did the audio sound shitty, Coleman? Yeah, I mean, I was Why listening he, to other shit. Did but it feel like he was doing it on purpose so you could hear it? I don't know. It was just kind of jarring to hear him. It was so shitty that there. Coleman was able to call back to it a week and a half later. <laughs> what was the line? It, it was just know. like, I know I talk a lot, and every time I usually talk, all I hear is. Bah, 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 bah. That's why. That was it. Oh, okay. Yep. That caught so my got a big laugh in the audience at that fucking <laughs> wedding. <laughs> all, all 10 people. There's still more people at my wedding than the Mean Girls pod, so I'll take that as a win. There you go. Nice. 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 <laughs> got it. Got that fucker. Owned Alex Bennett. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what else? Um, when go, I say that, Dave, do you almost want to start talking or no? No, it's his show. Do you think I love it? Nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting. Go ahead. Uh, we did have or the tweet from yesterday from Gus, the out of theater near me submission. I have no oh, idea. Oh, do we have one? I have we no have idea one. what it is. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I don't follow you on Twitter, do I? <laughs> no. You got to eliminate that guy, by the way. Uh, the guy who was in here the other day. I, I like I, him, too. I actually, I actually have a reason why I want to eliminate him. Thank you for bringing that up. But why, why would your reason? He's a cheater. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. yeah. Morally, he, morally, he's a cheater. Yeah. But I mean, look, he's an artist. If he's putting together, that's, judge the art, not the artist. I like yeah, what you're doing yeah, there. I, mean, yeah. what you, I like what you're doing. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm mm, fine with that. Questionable, questionable character. My big, no, I have a way more important issue. Is I actually, of course, listen to some of Mike and the Minna fans. Sure. And he loves Justin the Drip. Oh, oh what's wrong with that? Because the guy a good sucks. Guy. No, I hate. I listen to that episode. I actually hate that guy now. But does he love? No, he's like, he's like yeah, you're great. Like, he's like, I like what you're saying. I'm like, all right, I don't want this guy. <laughs> Uh, and, and I'm not kidding. I tweeted out this morning. I want people to unsubscribe from that network because all, all this idiot mentor said for weeks and weeks and weeks is a, he doesn't support the network. He shits on the shows. Da, 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 da. He shits all over Tron, who's part of the show. So he's shitting on the main show. So I'm just asking for consistency here. Like, let's bail out. I offered to go on and do a car wash like I did a couple of years ago. I am rescinding that offer now. Damn, oh, man. I will smart. not be doing that. I won't be doing it. Smart. So, I like yeah. I saw mentors say, uh, he's like, I don't mind Trung. I just don't like the amount of resources they're allocating to Trung. Some fucking resources. <laughs> that was an interesting phrasing. <laughs> fucking stupid. So stupid. I, I want him. I kind of want him gone now. Ugh. Him and this sidekick there. What's her face? Oh, yeah. she's still oh, Joe? Yeah. Oh, I like her. She's Ugh. nice. Yeah. I call her a COC, child of Chernobyl. Have you seen her up close? It's not pleasant. <laughs> Menders hasn't I, been the same since that Maserati incident. No, that broke him. Oh, my God. Dude. That broke him. They just want to bring that. Guys, just I trying to run a network. Yep. Forgot. I'm kidding. Okay, Joe Woman, I'm sure, is lovely, but she is a cunt. All right, what else? <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, if we have that submission, I we have the submission. Who is it from? It's from McFuss Daddy, Pizza George. I hate this guy too. I hate this. Guy. Oh, I don't understand the origin. He seems like a perfectly nice fellow. Well, why don't you sit in a room and try and figure it out? Okay? He talks Can we play about the sound? It. What do you want me to say, Mike? Okay, I'm a, I'm a puzzle. I am in a room and I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm a puzzle, Mike. What do you want? <laughs> My fellow Minna fans. I would like to officially announce my candidacy for the at a theater near me, go to a movie every day for 366 days challenge. I'm asking this in all sin 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 sincerity. I've been down south. Are there that many movie theaters around there? It's not like New York or Boston. He's bustling metropolises. It's got to be. I don't know. How close does he live to Atlanta? Atlanta's that's a, a pretty south, big city. It? What's that? That's a that's a sell for him. He's, he's gonna have to battle his ass off. Sure, but off. but you know how it is. Like you were, you you lived through the uh, at the theater near me. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> through the whole thing. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Mike was there too. Yeah. We got we all got through it together. <laughs> but like, is he? It's all fun when you're when you're pitching this in October. Right. Mm -hmm. But when it's February eighteenth, and you're running out of movies, and the closest one is one hundred and ten miles away, are you gonna do it? That's the question. Is McFuss Daddy one of those people? <laughs> I, I don't know he if he is. He, so he's, he, dead, he's a dedicated guy. Throughout his pitch, he did mention he does break it down: price, cost, how he thinks this he can do it. Pizza stinks, right? Well, the the issue came initially when his family and he throws his family under the bus in this. Uh -huh. His family removed the Kirkman a hand special for a day, and that's why he came up and was sitting in Justin's car. Did you see that hand gesture he did when he was telling that story? No, I was bl I blanked out. <laughs> He was like this. <laughs> oh, he does. Oh, that Coleman? Did yeah. you see that? No, it's whack. Holy he does, shit. He What's the name of that pizza place? Like that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just know him as uh, McFuss Daddy's place. That's a good name. If that if that was the name, that'd be a good name. <laughs> okay, I, I don't believe that's the name. But okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Continue. I hear this pitch. Issued us a great challenge, which Kirk was right. Kirk was always right. But nobody has stepped up, okay. and it has really kind of disappointed me. I thought Meta fans had more honor and integrity. Is it? Oh, there's plenty more. I, cut oh, I know we've got the Cinema Lord. I thought we were ready to just get the Gus. Like, I don't Gus think Gus caught his wedding or something. <laughs> I don't think he's got the Daily drive. Beloved. I don't think he's got the. Who's he talking about? To Nick? be able to take Nick. down a task like this in the name of Kirk and in the name of the show. The guys like Nick who have like tattoos and have like accents like that when they talk about like their new bitches like kids and stuff. I'm like, mm. this guy would like probably bust your head with like a bottle or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I like? Oh, you, you, you put him on your pussy list, Dave? Uh, he's, he's not a complete pussy, but yeah. he's like, he's, he's towing the line a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. What's that like? I, what I liked about the idea of Nick is that Clemmer is enough of a snob that he would really hate that like his oh, competition yeah, is like, ah, this movie fucking yeah, sucks. That's for sure. <laughs> These guys are losers. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> Clemmer's going to be in studio uh, coming up soon, by the way. Oh. Just, just to give it a little, yeah, go ahead. This time, I'm trying to right a wrong that was committed against the Minna fans. Clemmer has turned on us time and time again. See, we're kind of in bit world here. Uh, am I wrong mm. about this? I, 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 so we kind of is break, he a movie guy even? Like, he is because it breaks. I'll he say he's one of the top plug maniacs segments. out there. Is he one of your? Is he one of your? <laughs> is he one of your fucking sons, Gus? Like, why are you defending this guy? So no, because well, because uh, on his submission, he he broke it up into like three segments. One is just basically how long is this video? Ten minutes. Oh my god! So that we're is not going to go through the whole thing. I love McFuss Daddy, but that's 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 a lot. That's actually helps in my mind. Yeah. Did you listen to the whole thing? Yes. Okay. 
Give so, me some highlights because he's a, a so, terrific bore. Yeah, so the first three minutes was all him just basically trashing Clemmer, saying, Ooh, he, sorry, saying he's a piece of shit and uh, that he's not going to do this. And no matter what, he's going to go through with it. So then he goes down into the cost of it. Yeah. First thing that we're going to need, and Kirk has already said that he'll provide, so, and this is my only ask, so we're already there. Kirk was right, obviously. But I need the Regal Unlimited Pass. The Regal Unlimited Pass is $284 for the year. With tax, it's about $300. So we're in for $300. But you go to any Regal theater to see any movie, anytime. As many you realize you need to go to other theaters, right? Yep. So what he does is he has the Regal Theater for the big big one. And then he asks for the 25 a month AMC pass, which allows up to three movies a week at any AMC theater in the country. Okay. I'm, sorry then, to regret that. I'm sorry to regret that I even got into this. <laughs> the That's last surprising. Part, I just don't care. <laughs> the last part was allocation for like small local theaters and drive-ins sure. for roughly about $17. What if he goes to the movie, comes back from the movie, gets in his car, and his car's locked? How does he? How does he? He doesn't have the keys. How does he figure that out? Do we know? He doesn't mention that in the video, but I'm assuming he would either a break his window or b call. Does he have? Does he have someone he could call, Gus? Oh, he does have someone he could call. (laughs) Who's that? That'd be Griffin Lock and yeah, Jesus Christ, Gus. <laughs> Gus like the, the, the hammer he's company gone, that uses it. to break the window. Gus is like, A, he'd, he'd use a hammer to break the window, or B, he'd call AAA. <laughs> Number one, he called Griffin Lock Did Locke you think that Kate. was really like a concern of mine? He was going to do this? All right, well, we have a submission. It was terrible. But it was a submission. Gus is like, boy, Kirk's mind works review. nine levels out. <laughs> what if he does lock his keys in his car? <laughs> <laughs> and he did give a review at the end of the movie. Of what? Uh, it's the new one with John Cena and Allison Brie. You saw that? You saw it. <laughs> I he, like Allison Brie. He, he gave it a 6.8. Okay. And said it was um, not like Fast and Furious, but in the same vein of Fast and Furious. Wow. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of action, but not a lot of hand to hand fighting, which disappointed him. Great. Will he have a fun rating <laughs> system? Like, I give it 6.8. Pepperoni slices yeah. or something. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> know. Say that. His, I'm, I'm, uh, his pizza place was Johnny's and Macon. Johnny's always in Macon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I would say. Um, so Clemmer legitimately just gave up based on what you did? Or I was no? talking to Jeff about this the other day. Jeff's like, I haven't heard from him. He's like, he has to do it. <laughs> what, he just leave New York? Yeah, has he been in? <laughs> can he just do that with his job? Like Dave's all of a sudden going to be like, yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't. So let's say. Well, I would think that would be part of his job, no? Yeah, but like, there's no money in it. Like, What's if he you, doing now? Go back to blog, I mean, at, least, at least if you blog, like you're blogging on the Barstool website. Well, what I'm saying is, yes, if he stops blogging or doing whatever else he's doing, then yeah, of course Dave will be mad. But I mean, if you go to the movie every day, like, you know, he has he goes home at night, I assume. So, like, there'll be days where he's going to see a movie. Like, that's four hours out of his day, three hours out of his day. Well, is Jeff and, who's it, Ken Jack? They're like the movie guys, right? I guess. Are they going to stop being the movie guys and just, like, climb or do it because they have other things going on? I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I think they were just like, hey, you can do this under our umbrella, like, on our site, whatever. Yeah. And so, and well, his like, last podcast with Brandon was on there, too. Like, it was technically a lights camera. Uh, what was that? Uh, the Double the, take? Or oh, double, double play. Double play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? Right, right. Well, how's that Chicago build out? We talked about that for, like, a year. I feel like you've seen nothing out of that, right? I've you know, seen some they're within there the now. past They're week. doing something yeah. there now. yeah. It looks really like and I think we're go, I think we're doing the finale there. I think for Surviving Bars. I think it has like a basketball court and everything that they were talking about. Yeah, I just like haven't a, seen videos of it. I know they have. Yeah, I, I don't think they're done with everything. I mm. don't know. Um, it seems like they're pretty much working out of there now. And, they are doing and shows out there, working right? in studios there. Which okay. design of studios? I, I'm I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, really? I was expecting a little more. Oh, you're underwhelmed seems, by it. Seems a little barren. Oh, okay. I think the overarching size of everything is pretty cool. What would like, you expect? I don't know. I, I kind of wanted studios like centered around the theming of a show more so instead of like random memorabilia around. Them. Oh, is that what I haven't really seen it. Yeah. yeah I don't know. They, uh, when they're watching the games on TV now, are they in the new office? Yes. Uh, oh. Different couch setup and everything. Looks better than the shit chairs that they had in New York. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Okay. Coleman really going after him. Jesus, Coleman. Take, <laughs> take, him, take, take him down. <laughs> I know they fired you once. <laughs> like a bad boy. What else? That's a terrible submission. Go ahead. But that's fine. At least he did it. It's the best yeah. you've got so far. What do you do? He so. McFustay just gave some shit on the network, talked a little shit about you or something. That's why you don't like him. He's got like an arrogant look to him. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just he traveled look. like he traveled everywhere for the show. All right, Dave. Next time I see. Him, by the way, oh, we'll God rest her soul, Patsy Geller. By the way, one of the great Magnolia thieves of all time. No, no, she was a sweetheart, and Mike should remember this. She took us in. She fed us. Remember that? Oh, oh, there was asshole. some chemistry between. Uh, 
Dave and the old lady. Yes. Oh, yes, oh. It was, yes. I, I meant to say that. How about all those books that she fleeced the Minna fans out of? Well, listen, she's running a business. Did they pay and then she didn't? Yes. No, I don't think they paid. That is true. No, I don't think they paid. I saw people hand over money that night. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I tried. But not I, did get my, the books. I did my best. Because they had some them. books there, right? Some. Yeah. It was yeah. a good book, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel bad for Guy. I think he'll get back in, the, back in the game or no? I hope so. He's probably the king of that town. He could probably slam puss all day. He's probably good. I tried to look for his yeah. recent Banging articles. the girl at the uh, grocery store, you know? Ooh. She was young. Which girl at the grocery store? John Stewart's uh, widow. <laughs> Widower, whatever the hell it is. At the grocery store? Yeah, what's her name? The convenience store that we were at. Oh, oh Christy. Oh, oh, I thought we were saying yeah, Christy. Christy. Wow. <laughs> Christy. Yeah, yeah, Christy yeah. was DT. I forgot about Christy. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, maybe I'll get together with her. That'd be nice. Yeah. A nice May, December romance, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe July with her, but yeah. But yeah, that, that I, she was a nice old bird. She, that, that was sad to see. Yeah. yeah. But she had had a good run, right? Don't you? I think she was younger than I thought she'd be. Was she in her 70s, like mid-70s? Really? Oh, I thought, no. no hey, was I wrong? She had to be in her no, 80s. No, she's, yeah. I, I thought she was so. significantly younger than Guy. No. I think that's 80 is still significantly younger than Guy. She graduated. Oh, how old she Guy? Went, she went to high school with Constant Kim, so I think she's like four, <laughs> if I want to see. <laughs> she looked better than Constant Kim. She definitely did, yeah. Do we if know how old she, Patsy Geller? What's that? If I said Patsy Geller or Matthew Perry two weeks ago, who you taking? Again, like I, I, I want to be sensitive because I feel very bad, but like Matthew Perry to me was always a possibility. But I would have taken Patsy Geller, right. given her age. But she seemed pretty vibrant in uh, Magnolia. She did. I thought. As Dave. It smelled great. True. I bet she did, Dave. <laughs> 84. <laughs> 84. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys had like biscuits over there or something. We did, yeah. Waffles and. We were probably there for four hours with them. Yeah. I bet. Guy told one story. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was almost wrapping up Took his food in the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of those almonds in room 212. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was gone for too long. <laughs> yeah, I was not right. I, while you guys were doing that, I was having breakfast in Macomb with McFustad, the and Justin the Drip. Yes. How about the that? The morning rail. What a fucking day. What a trip. <laughs> Gee, then we almost died. Uh, Except what? me. I didn't get it. That's true. You didn't get it. What else? Uh, Montante last night hit a pretty big bet. People were going crazy over that. He dropped a video as well. Okay. Um, right after I have that. <laughs> Let me make something very clear. At a wedding here, I'm at the wedding. Is he at the Warthog's wedding? <laughs> he wasn't invited? The easiest <laughs> bet you'll ever make. Easy 600 bucks. I'm not lying. I got Tommy Quinlan between black dicks. Whoa. <laughs> <Same. laughs> That's the main reason I pulled it. <laughs> well, Montante, this is the easiest bet you'll ever make. Does he mean the process of making the bet will be easy? Yeah. Or you'll win a lot of money. <laughs> DraftKings makes it. Because uh... <laughs> my, you know, I know my history with bets has always been: you have to go underground, you have to travel through time, gunshots, and you make your bet. I like that. That I, I feel like that noise that he just made was him saying, "Who's serious now, motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about black cocks." <laughs> I mean, you've seen what a terrific bore Montante's turned out to be the last few months. Yesterday, I was telling these guys before the show, mm -hmm. I get a call from Justin Trudell, and I answer it, and it goes straight to his voicemail. Never really heard that happening before. I was a little confused. Obviously. He called you. It was his voicemail? Justin. Well, Correct. But this is, is where the story turns a little bit. It was Mike Montante dialing, loser. using an app to <laughs> dial, <laughs> my, <laughs> yeah, <let's laughs> dial my phone number and Justin's phone number so that we would talk to each other confused over who called who. He was out of spoof card minutes, so he found a new <laughs> <laughs> a new service. What is the payoff for that? <laughs> just so dumb. We would have just gone back and forth and been like, Justin, you called me. What the fuck are you talking about? That was trendy when I was in fifth grade. I remember that. Yeah. And Call Justin would have been places. like, I called you, you <laughs> called me. <laughs> this is what he does with his time. <laughs> yes. That, that's why I hate Justin the Drip. Um, I hope Justin the Drip's wife masturbates with a crucifix and gets <laughs> splinters in her vagina and bleeds to death is my hope. Is there anything that, uh, other than just her being religious? What do you mean? It, it, do you just feel that way? Because she's uh, the, the letter she sent you, was that it? No, but I, I'm, I'll get there. Hold on. Um, this isn't your fucking warthog speech, Mike. I'm going to take my time <laughs> on this one, okay? No, this is He's a good guy. <laughs> Westfield State. Uh, <laughs> see you later, folks. Dirty Mike and the boys. <laughs> Did you guys do a reunion show for everyone or no? No, we should. The, the boys were all there. The boys were the, all there. The boys were there. With a Z. With a Z. We're the all Z there. Was, missing, actually. was there a picture taken with Dirty Mike and the boys? Not specifically. No. Well, that's not right. That's a story. I should say, I take that back. The when you... Is one, of, one of the core four were not there. Who was A couple there? of their fill-ins were... Uh, a guy named Matt. Matt wasn't there? Matt wasn't there. Oh, my God. I know. 
When you die, will Dirty Mike and the boys fans be like, geez, I wonder how Matt's handling it. Like you did when, <laughs> when Chandler died. Yeah, well, they lost touch, but you know, it's, he's got, it's got to still hold a place in the They're spot. always there for each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, This guy, Justin Drip, is like, he's like, Kirk should definitely pay Montante all this money to come on. this. like, I don't know why he's not paying them. What was the breakdown per show? I, I forget, but yeah. it's not even, I like Montante, you know that. But I think you would agree, like, Montante being on, first of all, Montante like, wants to be on the show like twice a week or something. First of all, Montante being on the show, physically sitting that seat adds no value economically to the show. No. I no. enjoy having him here, but it doesn't, like, it's not going to bring in any more money. Right. I thought right. he would like jump at the opportunity to do some type of sales and then have that that's be I, the accessory that's to That's what it. I said to him. I was like, you sell some stuff if you want. He can come as much as you want. He can come in whenever he wants anyway. Nobody wants so, to like cold call for advertisers. It's well, bars. Then, well, then don't do yeah, it, but come yeah. in whenever you want then. Like, that's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to, yeah. like, to pay him to come in all the time doesn't, it's not additive to the I would say sa sales show. would be attractive for him if he was allowed to go after the advertisers that Barstool books on this program. That's a different conversation. He'll do whatever he wants. Well, that, that, would be, that would be a better conversation, be though. He's not allowed to go after those people. Allowed by who? Barstool. Barstool. Yeah, that's like agency dollars. That's yeah. all. You know. Getting some trouble. It's funny. That's because a Dave Conan <laughs> throwback. That's a Red 13 throwback argument we had right there. Steve Robinson was selling with the uh, Cornhole. Yeah, but companies. they were DM they were DMing the show account. Right. And they were that's what I'm saying. So, so, yeah. so look at a couple of those. If you're if you want to. I'm saying if you want to do that and then try and make some money and then then you can oh, but I mean Barstool doesn't sell this show well. It would be Correct. a good idea for you to have a salesperson who is allowed I, I to talk to, to agencies out of I New York to, and I have to agree. And and Montante, I think would be fine at that. Fuck Montante, you're looking at him probably. You want the job. Maybe. Who knows? Especially, <laughs> if take, especially if he'll take it away from Montante, actually. No, I, I don't know. I'm just bullshit. I am a Montante guy. I might, I am. I might I do want you to that. do that just to fuck over Montante. Would Maybe you, you, would you hire that. Dave to do that? After? Yes, I would. Wow. Oh, sure. I would. Oh, my God. Would you do it? That meeting with fucking Bill from Milton's would be a disaster if Steve wasn't going on Thursday. Disastrous. What are you talking about? Aren't you meeting with Bill? Are they having lunch I'm on Thursday? meeting with them. We're having lunch with them. You're welcome yeah, to join been us there as always. Many times. Yeah, and I dominated that conversation. Yeah, well, oh, you guys come oh, 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 you're saying without you, you and without a Steve. salesman. You're welcome. You, you are, a guy like, gotcha, you are gotcha, always gotcha. welcome. We'd love to have you on Thursday if you'd like. Milton's no, I want my last memory with Bill to be a emotional goodbye with John Peltier behind me and Gus <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> Where was this? That's my last memory of Bill Shaco, from Plymouth. Uh, no, after the... John getting uh, John getting fitted for the suit. Oh, that's oh, right. Right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, but you see, what I'm saying about Mon I don't mean that in a derogatory. Montante is great in the show. That's not a negative of Montante. Like yeah. the show is bad. Like you know, it's like Mike. Mike's great on the show, but like if Mike in the past, Mike hasn't been on. Downloads the show. will plummet. Well, no, I'm just saying. Like the the the, the bottom line. Yeah, but you like Mike change. shows better than you like other shows, I assume. Uh, some. So you might feel oh, that Mike way today. with Mike. I was, Mike's yeah, Mike's from tomorrow. Yeah. So. Mike's struggling today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm here to save the day. Don't worry about it. Mutt literally wanted to be on my birthday, Mike. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to say it. And Mike, Mutt was so, Mutt is so excited to do a show with Whitney. That's the thing. Oh, like, he's so excited. Well, I, I said before I wanted to be in with Whitney, and you said, do you only want Whitney on your own? Now Mutt's horning in here. Well, Mutt was literally like, it's your, it's your birthday. <laughs> you don't call me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. And Mutt Stack has been disgraceful lately. So. He reached out to me. I was a source for the Mutt Stack, but I wasn't quoted in any way this week. Well, I was. Shame. My idea was stolen, literally stolen. Like I, I said, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? This I'm is sure traffic I'm sure it's a listener of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should talk about that for a second because I, I don't think we. I think we have different sources on this. Because my first reach out to you, you said that that socials thing, which I knew probably wasn't right, turned out not to be right. It's a it's a contract play by Rich to 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 take. It's a mix, it's a mix of both. They want control of the social right. accounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, true, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah. So, but like, don't you agree that EI, if they had the money, should reach out and try and blow up the morning show, split them apart, and then put them in the afternoons? Because why not? It can't be any worse. Why not? Well, right. the, why now would be a, the amount they'd have to pay Rich. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying the money might just be might be a no go. Yeah. But I'm saying let's say they could afford it. Just for argument's sake, they should at least ask. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's also. But I think if you're rich, you don't even touch that company. No, I wouldn't go near it. Yeah, he's gonna resign. Yeah, definitely. He, on his own, he's got no. He's got nothing. Though no I audience. feel like isn't Odyssey's fucked? iHeartRadio's fucked, but mm. iHeartRadio still makes like good signings. Like they like people still want to work for iHeartRadio. Right? Like I don't know who signs. It. I don't know. I don't know. They, you just always see their announcements nationally. Oh, like I know. rational names. Yeah, 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 and nobody wants to go to Odyssey. No, the last no. one was Stephen A. Smith with that stupid podcast that he's doing. But if you're rich, don't you kind of have to talk to uh, Odyssey because it's like there's only. Four companies or whatever. Well, I, I also, yes, but I think that if Rich went to um, whoever, whoever he'd meet with at uh, Beasley, 
and said, hey, I just talked to EI and they offered me this much, I think they would be like, go for it. Good luck. Definitely. Yeah. Like, Definitely. We're going to bring Hardy in in the mornings and they're going to do the morning show together and like we're making a choice. Like yeah. We're going to be successful. Oh, I do think that show would drastically change in probably a bad way. I don't, I don't know. I don't listen to it. I don't, I'm listening to it, so I don't know. But like, I think they like Rich's bits. Like, I think that audience likes the bits. Yeah, like yeah they're yeah. old. The older Hardy, audience like. I was Hardy. Say, isn't Hardy kind isn't of part of that? Does? He does stuff like that, but not like that. Not like those bits. I no, no, think no. I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about it. So, I, well, you're. It's hard for you to say because you are in negotiations to produce a competitor in the morning. I can't Matt talk about it. I've said too much already. Just being <laughs> here. Probably. Have I spoken to Matt Siegel more in the last month than you have? I cannot talk about it. Maybe it's a joke. I don't know. Is he coming back? He's just doing two live shows, I think. Oh, that was it. Oh, he's yeah. doing the Wilbur again. If he's coming back and he doesn't hire me to be his producer, that is an all-time blunder. You could even say that. It's an all-time blunder. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, would you say you're the best in the market? Me? Yeah. Yes. And you asked me to be your co-host today. So just think about what that should wow. say. Just think, about that. Just think about that. Job. I've also been begging Bonar <laughs> yeah. Sal to come on. <laughs> I thought about that actually. Yeah. You, I, I don't think you would want to get up every morning at four o'clock and drive in the fucking. No, that seems like a for six. Maddie. I don't think you want to. Do yeah, that. but he, I wouldn't do it for like Maddie is a legend. You do it for a legend. I got off my couch and I, I don't go. I don't need to go. <laughs> well, can I also say for what? For his live show, and I got there in twenty nine minutes. Not, yeah. yeah. Nationally, a lot of those shows now are recorded in the afternoons, like the Stern, what Stern does basically. But you think Maddie would do that? I Just to say, like, if he brings the show right? back, why does it have to be exactly like what it was before? Right. He might do something different. He, uh, he doesn't seem to be a big guy. He changes, changes around much, though. Yeah, but depending what he does. But to, ne- to avoid waking up at four in the morning, you don't think? He's old. Yeah. He also, by the way, doesn't get up at four in the morning. He, he'll do the show from Florida. Dave will be driving in. He'll be in Florida the whole time. Oh, okay. Good. Like, that's definitely happening. And Maddie, me. Maddie gets be, up. I'd Maddie, become a star. It's you great would. for me. You would become My a voice star. would sound crystal clear. Be great for the <laughs> star. <laughs> every time you go outside, every old 68-year-old woman would be excited to see you. I love that. That's my environment. That's Those true. are my people. I mean, Maddie gets up at 550 and walks over to his desk. Like, he doesn't know. Okay. They, they play songs for the first 14 minutes. Right. That's what he right. tells me. And he doesn't know. talk to anybody. Like, at least Greg, yeah. Greg Hill on his drive-in gets his, all, his news stories from his producers on his drive-in. All right. Well, you get along well with that fucking asshole, though? That idiot who, who brought him down? Oh, she won't be part of it, obviously. No, she definitely won't be part of it. Huh, okay. She'd be my target. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'd feed him. Oh, you guys would be going at them. Yes. I saw oh, somebody tweet me the other day. There was a 40 thing you should have taken them down for. I forget what it was. I saw that too. And I also saw, Gus, did you get that audio from Gresham Gresh. Zoe? It was a nothing. Yeah, it, was, it was enough. Oh, it was my God. That, that made me think of something. Oh, go ahead. It was saying that Gresh did an Asian accent, but he really didn't. I don't think he did. No. Gresh and Zoe? Yeah. Uh, not Gresh and Zoe. Gresh and Fourier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I should have asked you for this, Cole. I forgot. The end of the Patriots game yesterday, I actually heard on the radio. I was driving around the very end. And Bob Soshi has his serious moment where he, the game's over. Like they're taking a knee. The, uh, as, as he would say, they're in victory formation. Yes. And uh, he's like, uh, Zoe, I'd be remiss if I didn't, because we have listeners in Bangor and Lewiston and Auburn and all these places. In oh, the wow. And he's like, uh, it was a horrible thing, you know, uh, thoughts and prayers. And he's like, our, heart goes, our hearts go to everyone in Maine. Even the non-Patriots fans. Oh, oh. <laughs> See if you can find that. Can you find oh, it? I'm, I'm looking the, for end it. End of the game. Yeah. It's a very, it's like the last minute of the game. <laughs> I think that would have to be through the NFL. Well, exactly. you can. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, it's, it's on serious. I don't know if they put like on yeah. demand shit. If yeah, you, you yeah, can go back. Yeah. Quick question. Is Tom Karen from Lewiston? Does anyone know? I haven't got, I the, can, I haven't got I confirmed on that. that out. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a tweet. He's like, he's like an Orsillo. Yes, like he's a, he's a he's actually a nice guy. I don't know if you've ever met him or not. I actually like Tom. He's a nice guy, but like once I realized he's from Lewis, and I was like, this is the real tragedy because yep. <laughs> yeah. hold, everyone hold on. Yep. Because he's like uh, he's like he's like join us for the celeb for this prayer vigil last night. And I'm like, oh god, <laughs> Jesus. It'd be it'd be great if Sosie was like, I just want to say we have a lot of listeners in uh, Lewiston and Bangor, and any Dolphins fans up there can go fuck themselves. <laughs> if this is enough. <laughs> I have a lot of Lewiston and uh, Bangor fans here, and I just want to say right now, if this game is being interrupted by the news, please contact us. Let us know. We'll, we'll make sure to get you a full game uh, mailed to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What else? What do you got, Gus? I uh, stum- you date gaming today, Dave? No, no, I don't do a game. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so I stumbled you. across. I actually don't like that you didn't find new music. I don't want that. That's a good, that's a good, that's, 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 this is like when Chris Curtis. That was a tough find. That was a tough find. It's like when Chris Curtis originally left the show and he wanted to show a Twitter account. Like mm-hmm. something's li- that's a tribute to you. Oh, no, you're right. You're that, right. That's a, that's a, that's, of, that was yeah. a great find. You're right. Thank you. Go ahead, guys. You're welcome. 
Got a new podcast that I stumbled across from 2001. Literally stumbled? Like you were just rolling around and you <laughs> fell on the 2001 podcast? <laughs> this is I, big because Gus wouldn't tell us what this was. This is a tease. Oh, oh he did. This, 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 is, big. The this is called What's Potting? Yeah, Mick broke it first, dude. Did during he? producer search, yeah. Oh, all right. Way, never mind, way to man. keep up. I don't listen. I didn't listen to the mix show. <laughs> Why do you hate him so much? They call him. <laughs> I wait. don't. He's just pulling up my old shit when we've already hashed this out on the show. It's oh, is your terrible? What's pod? Yeah, which I've oh, said. Why is so defensive? Oh, I'm yeah. not. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. not. You hear how defensive he is? I'm not. It's just a dumb point to from bring 2001? up. From 2001? No, from no, like 2021. Yeah, you said 2001 originally. I thought so too. I was. Oh wait, I'm blanking. Is this a Coleman podcast? Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. Mick brought this up, but you said 2001. Coleman, where were you born? 2000. Wow. I was like, hopped on the mic. And was that? Yeah. This is what's pot. I I don't masturbate. <laughs> this is from his. I can never. I can never forget what's pot when Coleman from September tenth, two thousand one. We made some crazy predictions. <laughs> so, so what do you? I, I just thought it was funny. The intro. The intro has been my favorite thing. Is this with your? This isn't with your BC. Uh, the first episode was. First episode. The, yeah. the guy from underwater. Yeah. The guy no, the I was with? under. I was underwater. You were underwater. Yeah, yeah. Oh, who's that? Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see if Spotify wants to play it. Probably not. I Coleman's got some tood with Gus. <laughs> Coleman's yeah, not happy like with this. this. I like this. No, it's just, it's stupid because we've already talked about this. Yeah, but you guys weren't in the room together. together. Now you, and you two being in the room together is very I awkward and very enjoyable either. to watch. We've never played Sound of It, right? Yeah, because I don't want to bore you guys. It's terrible. What do you mean, what's podding? Like, what's popping? What's podding? Oh, yes. yeah. Like like in the did? podcast industry. I love that. Actually. You like that? Yes. That sells. Okay. Yes. What's Podden? Who's the best guest you had on What's Podden? Um, I don't, I don't even remember. COVID. It must be a dog podcast, Mike. Coleman's got, got the attitude like, who, who even gives a fuck? Because it, it's true. <laughs> what are you who asking cares me about, for? Like, <laughs> you bring up every stupid Barstool story under the sun. Why can't we play What's Podden? <laughs> I guarantee you What's Podden's better than Mean Girls. Spent 40 hours on that. Let me hear it. Let me hear the intro. You can find every episode. Nope, that's the. Wow, uh, oh, that's a big guess. Yeah, that's a big guess. Yeah, yeah. 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 It does suck. Hey, it's you know me and I mean? Coleman here. We're doing our Mount Rushmore. <laughs> He's a good guy, man. They're going anybody's podcast. <laughs> I gotta go. Honestly, like, there's no one oh, notable. I, well, Aiden's notable. Of. Not really, though. Oh, these two are gonna fight each other by the end of the episode. <laughs> we had a tense game of sorry. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You'll see it. Later. He is a cheating well, son may, of a bitch. I may not see it. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. It'll no, be available. No. It'll Coleman be available. Is, I'm just going to say this right now before it drops. Coleman is 100% a cheater. Okay. Wow. Save, save, save the crazy Can we please rush to get that yeah. one out, please? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> please save it. You sunk my battleship, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Why don't you call it Sorry Not Sorry and have it be a podcast? <laughs> what would, what would uh, uh, Chandler say about that, Mike? I really don't need to know the could I be anymore. I don't know. Could I be anymore? I don't Sorry? Think he has any. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, fa that funny SNL, the sarcasm sketch was pretty funny. Uh, George Sarca Washington? No, no, no. no. Oh. But Matthew Perry oh, said, oh, the Sarcasm oh. Club. You ever see that one? I don't know if I know. It's actually that. pretty funny sketch. I think he only hosted once. What was the video going around? It was during his mon it was part of his monologue where he did a skit like hey, just asking people, will you jump I'm in the fountain with me? Yeah, I didn't see it was a good yeah, kind of funny. Whoa. Where am I? You're potting. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Beg your pot. What's popping, I like everybody? That. I'm so happy to be with you on hold another on. Thursday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Were you really that happy to be with him? No, <laughs> I was in my fucking parents' basement. This during the pandemic? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Who? Super you say, excited for this up. Oh, you're super excited for it. I guess I am. You're excited about this show. <laughs> if I, I like, drop the super. Like, this is how young Coleman is, by the way. He's like, this is ancient history. Oh, he's <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Different time. You know? COVID, I, man. I think what's upsetting Coleman, I know, I know psychology. Coleman doesn't like the Gus is being like, how on dumb him. you are. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. piss me off. Not too. really. Yeah. I, I just don't want to listen to myself if that. Well, I, I have to. I'm on this fucking show. Yeah. Go ahead. Just give me a rundown of how the show is actually going to work. And I Hold want on. to thank all of you. That was just like so a wild like, pattern of how the show worked. Like just crazy. Never, <laughs> never heard before. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's pretty basic, Coleman. It's no? super basic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's me talking about different talking. Yeah, there's a man on an airplane recently. <laughs> who... <laughs> Good. Much for checking it out. Really appreciate all the love that it got, all the love on Twitter from everyone, from yeah. the cheapies to friends and family. From who? It's been cheapies. incredible. Who are the cheapies? That was a whole thing back in. That's what I'm saying. It's so irrelevant. It's like 2020, well, 2021. <laughs> Coleman, the show is about irrelevant. Yeah. Chippies were like Barstool fans, right? Yeah, they were yeah. like kind of offshoots of Barstool people. I was still very much at the time trying to work at Barstool. So it was a whole interconnected 
weirdness. Okay. Okay. What, do, what kind of candy it's are you giving away, Dave, on uh, tomorrow? Uh, I'm not a chocolate guy, so it'll be all the, the Skittles. I'm sorry uh, people don't like them, but you're You got to give somebody crazy. a chocolate option, though. Yeah, I'm sure my wife will. Do you answer the door, or do you leave out no, the, the we'll full leave the bowl. bucket? Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. of the dogs or no? No, I just no. because we're not there. You don't dress up or anything? No, but my kids want me to this year. I probably should. You oh. should. Yeah. Can I get a costume in time? Like on Amazon or something? Oh, you could probably, probably not go. I'm sure, I'm sure there's stores. <laughs> yeah. Halloween pop-up stores. stores, right? Oh, I could go to like iParty or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I haven't even Spirit thought about this. Yep. Mm. Yep. Party City. What are you giving away, Gus? Do we say this or no? Uh, Snickers, M and M's, peanut M and M's, just like a, your usual big like pack you can get of uh-huh. like fifty candy bars. Full size. Full size. I like that. You guys didn't have a job two weeks ago. I said before. <laughs> Full size candy bars in like the big packs. Like you know, like you get they from like those? BJ's and Costco. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you just get one of those, and then Reese's we... peanut butter cups or not? Yep. Why would you get full like sizes? That. Like that's such a Why notice not? me. I'm a good guy in the neighborhood. Well, fucking... you hate anyone giving uh, things. I, 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 so I do that. You get full sizes. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Well, people probably hate you, and you want them to like you. Oh, it's a big so concern of mine. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's no reason to give a full. Guys, look how big my candy bars yeah, are. <laughs> Nobody gives a full Snickers well, bar. Where you're, where you're right is, and you know this, like these kids don't even eat the candy anyway. Not the whole thing. I did. I don't know a about that. A huge... Oh, kids... Around, well, my area is mobbed. So if you get like 300 pieces of candy, you're not going to eat them all. Now you're Over just, time, you're just sure. dancing. Like, 100%. Is it, I, that I keep that going until like Christmas. Yeah. Really? Yeah, keep that sack in... You know, I got that thing on well, me. Maria's doing. <laughs> Jesus. Gonna, gonna raise your kids right. <laughs> the only... As long as they're frozen, I'll eat them. That's the other thing. Mm. Every everything like a Reese's peanut butter cup frozen is the best gift you can give somebody. Amazing. That's true. Yep. It's yep. literally the best the gift mini you can ones. Be. The mini ones. What do you mean? The, like, I like the mini ones. Oh, like the better little, than the bigger uh, ones. The ones in the little package. Yeah, you themselves. eat off everything but the top first, and then you have just the chocolate yeah. a little bit. I don't know if the, the mini ones freeze as well. It does. Yeah, it freeze does. okay. All chocolate freezes pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Even like <laughs> uh, M&M's not that much. Because uh, they're, they're almost tough frozen to bite. M&M's not no, I put, yeah. I put M&M's in the I, refrigerator, though. Yeah, but in the yeah. freezer, it becomes a tough. Why would you put M&M's in the freezer? That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying, yeah. I just said, I'm talking them. Then I'm, you know. You do like so, so Mike likes his M and M's like rock hard, but likes his bacon wiggly. He's a fucking <laughs> guy. So I'm an enigma path. <laughs> Mystery wrapped in a riddle. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are you saying, Coleman? Uh, do you put like cookies in the fridge though? Like I think Thin Mints, like Girl Scout cookies. I'm on the mint. I'm on the mint guy. Oh, I'm on the mint great. Guy. I'm on the mint guy. No, I always hated the Girl Scout cookie mint thing. Not not my thing. No, no, no. Tagalongs though. Tagalongs. I'm, I'm on the big Girl Scout cookie guy. No matter how hard Justin tries to sell them to me. Every year. <laughs> 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 my girlfriend has a. <laughs> I'm trying to well, meet her goals this year. Well, I hope she's my girlfriend. We'll see. <laughs> if I sell enough tackle, yeah. I mean, I think she's kind of into me. <laughs> like my favorite recurring bit in the show history for some reason. I don't know why. J Rock. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think we've heard enough of that podcast. I think unless you guys want to hear more. No, that's pretty much it. Okay. But right. it, they, it was a it was a good listen with him and Aiden. Does Gus think there's anything incriminating? Anything no. Gus uh, Coleman would be embarrassed? Oh, Coleman's uh, a young enough guy. Like when he was 14, were you tweeting out the N word? No? no. So in general, no. In general, no. <laughs> no, you hated Trump, no. right? Hey, Except when the Ferguson he riots happened. Trump. He hated Trump. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I would say George Floyd had <laughs> no. <yeah. laughs> um. Yeah. No, no, no. I had a Twitter account when I was like. 12. Okay. And you need to be 13 to make one. Oh, okay. So I lied about my age. Well, again, got, again, Justin will famously, you know, log in and do this for these for these girls. <laughs> Justin's like, are you 13? Yeah. And they're no. like, no. And like, are you fuck? You better fucking be sure. I'm not doing this for you. Hey, no problem. I got a couple of accounts. <laughs> Just you want to see a sad young girls. <laughs> you want to see a, a Patriots guy with a sad look on his face and a beer in his hand? That's my new guy. <laughs> I walked three miles one night after a VFW show. Uh, when you were 12, you had a Twitter account. Yeah, so I had a Twitter account. I Ille- lied illegally. Ab- illegally. Okay. Bad boy. Um, what was the account? I don't even know what it was. Okay. Like, I, I was 12 or whatever when I made it. Right. Um, I was producers who don't know why they made up Twitter accounts. <laughs> I, I, was, I gave my reason. You just no, don't want to believe it. It's I don't believe that reason either. Nobody why? believes that It's reason. so dumb. We agree with that. but we, we <laughs> I just said it was a joke to literally show my mother on Mike the phone. called it. You wanted this to yeah. take off and be like... <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I did not. I don't even def- think... I don't even know if like the shit mom you, says stuff Are you was... still doing this? Are you still pretending like this is not what you did? <laughs> mom, I got two words for you. William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mom, don't get an agent. Wait, 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 mom, wait, don't wait, get an agent until I tell you to get one, okay? It's going to be complicated out there. I can't have a joke between myself and my mom. I can't just have a random joke. But I don't get the joke, though. <laughs> the joke is I'm making fun of things that she would say the way but she the would say it on Twitter. the amount of times you tweeted... Why did you then bring it back though? Remember like it was gone for a right. long time and yeah, you returned? Right. It was like a weird... You I must have been with her. Did I not have an answer to that? I must have no been with her at that You're time. Okay. Yeah. And I wouldn't be shocked if there were some drunk like tweets at that time too or something. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't shock me. Okay. Not okay. over here bashing Trump like this guy or anything <laughs> like that. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, it's a joke with my mom. It's harmless family stuff. <laughs> Coleman's, uh, Coleman's gone 180 now, but he was a, he was a lib pussy boy in like yeah. 22. He's crying around. He that righted that ship. Crying around with those college girls trying to get their attention. Like, oh, it's yeah. terrible. Uh, I think if you were in do? college at that time, you kind of had to, yeah. you know? But BC's do? pretty conservative, yeah, right? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. More, more than a lot of other schools. Yeah, I would think. Huh. All right. What, what was, what, you, don't, you don't remember the name of the account. I don't remember the, the name of, a, of the account, and I don't think it matters because Twitter fully deleted it because, of, because of my age. How'd they know? I, I have no idea. It just came up one day. I was in high school, and it was like your Twitter's been fully removed. Huh. Because did you age. did you ever had a time in your life where you made like a weird username for some kind of account? Mm. No, I mean I still the Jukum Coleman on my Twitter. Like I guess that's weird, but that came. It's from, like you used like AOL Instant Messenger, right? I guess at some point. Yeah, not a lot though, but yeah, right. But what you is, didn't. It wasn't that? like at Kirk Minahan back then. Mine was like so. Pully, aka Big Papa. <laughs> what? And then it was stupid asthmatic. P O P P A. Yeah, I kept with stupid asthmatic. Stupid asthmatic. Stupid asthmatic. Stupid asthmatic. Stupid asthmatic. That's a good rapper. Yeah. yeah. Nobody. That should nobody. Be, that should be your name. Stupid asthmatic. Nobody. <laughs> nobody on planet Earth ran AOL like I ran fucking AOL back in the day. I, I, and nobody. What, in what way do you mean? I just dominated that scene. But, I, back I, I, I like I just, an example. Well, this is like this back. Is, this is stupid. I, as would, I would type an eight like equal would, sign <laughs> capital D. When I would show up in a chat room, <laughs> I, just, I don't know how to describe it anymore. It's been so long. But when I would show up in a chat room, everything would change. Everything would change. Everything. Changed. This is as stupid as Matic or Big Papa. It didn't matter. Everybody knew. Was both of them. stupid spelled normal? I had like an online wedding with a girl once. Like my buddy. I you think that was a girl? It could have been. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like all this. I did yeah. all this weird shit back then. That's yeah. fucked up, man. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's wet. <laughs> stupid as mad. At least have like all these programs. Your name should be stupid as mad. That should I be, kept it forever. I that should be, still have That should accounts. be a Twitter handle. I mean, it will be. But it should be... Did you think you were stupid? No. Were you just, angry at the asthma? I think it's kind of... Uh, it's making oh. other people relate to me. Like, yeah, you have asthma too. It's okay. Like, we My, can make fun of Mike ourselves. was S-T-O-O-P-I-D. Yeah, no, was it spelled nope, normal? Stupid traditional asthmatic. stupid. Asthmatic. I didn't think it was asthma like that. I thought it was like asthmatic. Like ASS Maddox. Oh, no. Oh, oh I like no. that. No. No. Yeah. I like that's that a, a lot. That's a gust joke right there. <laughs> Colin's been battling asthma famously for years. Yeah. Well, not that famous. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid ass with impaired <laughs> lungs. <laughs> that's what I thought. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid ass yeah. Yeah. I do think I never, I didn't really use AIM, but I made an account. I think it was Blind Mike something. So it was all meant to be. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. What else, guys? Um, I just mean to take it to a screeching halt. <laughs> <laughs> today, Mike. I thought it would build the conversation. I might retire now. God, well. You see uh, Gavin Newsom playing basketball in China. Yes. He absolutely bodied the like that kid. kid. Yeah. Yeah. I quite understand that. I, don't I told, again, but like I told everyone, like Newsom, DeSantis, it's going to be Trump again. And it's going to be Biden again. Like, I don't know why we're doing this. You see DeSantis walking with his boots the other day? Walking, he's a fucking weird guy. Is Jerry still like on the DeSantis train? I don't know. I don't see Jerry do like the presidential politics. No, I knew that Jerry so long ago. I, I guess Jerry's I'll check. like dead, by the way. I, he hasn't done his show in Has weeks. Has he died? Yeah, he's probably dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. If he dies, we have to do like, have a to special go. show. Yep. Yeah, oh, I'm not go. going. I'm not going. But do I have to do like a show where I pretend I actually liked him? Yeah, you would, yeah. You would do something. You'd, give would? A, you'd, you'd say some powerful. We had our differences. But uh, Dino would like be him, back. Though. It'd be a great day. It'd be a great episode. Oh, I was thinking of some Dino stories the other day. Yeah. Well, what was that, Mike? I mean, it'll, it'll be tough to do if he dies tomorrow because everyone's hearing this. Yeah, I can't do that then. You know? I don't think he's dying. He's having his usual voice issues, I think. Yeah, but I think it's lasting longer than he thought. It was, oh, you have inside sources telling you this. Maybe I do. Yeah. Okay. So what else did Craig tell you? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, but I think he also has said it. Like, he randomly came back for one episode. I heard that. And he I looked. Terrible. Yeah, he yeah. sounded awful. I don't yeah. know why he this did that. This used to happen, yeah, like I said, at the end of our show together, sometimes he would get a, uh, a shot and we, he'd take a week off. From like the Adele doctor, like uh, the voice? Yes, that was yeah. his big thing, yeah. Because yeah. he's like, yeah, I guess I, but the doctor said, don't don't bet the future at opera, though. And he would laugh. <laughs> and I'd be like, Jesus, can I just go to the bar store? <laughs> Craig, <laughs> Craig, so Craig has said that he, like, 
Jerry wants to do a show so badly that Craig will still get texts during the day like, in case I'm ready tomorrow, <laughs> I'm just some story. Well, he's definitely into it. I'll give yeah. him that. That's what, you know, like you used to say this. You would never take a day off, right? Never. Never. Like you would take the, you do the day after Thanksgiving, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You do bonus shows. We like went live during one of the riots in Boston. Oh, really? Remember that night where they were like flipping cars in front of the state house and everything? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm out here and it's Faneuil Hall. <laughs> I call it Faneuil Hall. I'm not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Gus? I just saw a tweet from Steve Robinson about uh, more being middle down the line about a uh, reaction from the shooting. Okay, go ahead. There was a brief moment this weekend when I was like, maybe I don't need to carry my gun everywhere I go. Oh, Jesus. And then I learned that the Maine State Police let schizophrenics who threaten mass murder against army bases go to bowling alleys unsurveilled. <laughs> Well, he's not wrong. I mean, no. the story is wild. I don't know if you saw the story, and the AP had it last night. It's crazy. The fucking cops, they, they called it. They wanted to see a wellness check on this guy. They're basically like, yeah, we drove by his house a couple of times. He wasn't home, so we just kind of moved So we just on. gave up. They literally just like gave up on it. It's crazy. Oh, was Steve saying, um, he, he retweeted him saying stunning? Was there stuff in there that he hadn't reported, or was that kind of a sarcastic? No, no, no. no. He was, no, he was, I think Steve literally looked at him and was stunned. Okay. okay. I think there were. I think he fell down. I think <laughs> earlier in the weekend, there were some reports saying, like, this guy was known to police, but yes. the specifics of them visiting the home, that's new information from me. Yeah, yesterday. for sure. AP, yeah, 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 yeah. AP had that. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm not, I, I don't want to, you don't have to do this if you don't want. I'm not a gun guy. I don't understand the purpose of a regular consumer like you and I needing an assault rifle. Boy, I've never heard that. Come back on Thursday. No, but I don't, I, I know. <laughs> no, 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 like, what's, no, I'm honestly asking, like, what's the use case I don't of somebody I like no, you I have, I'm with you. I have no brain for that. I'm I've sure never, that it, there has want, to be one. I don't one. want guns. I didn't mind when Steve had the gun at the live show. If he'd shot Mick, I would have been You should have absolutely that. shot Gus when he sexually assaulted me on that was you, that you did yeah. fucking nothing about. Yeah. You just sat there. The picture that I keep seeing is you literally staring with borderline a smirk on your fucking face. <laughs> yeah. You so, piece of shit. I was and so, then you fucking hired the guy. I was so... What I'll, a dickbag move I'll that is. This. He was hired before that. I don't know if you've heard me say this or not, but he that almost cost him the job. Because I was like... That should have cost him. Wasn't even, I didn't care if he assaulted you. He could have grabbed your dick. I don't care about that. But it was more like, what the fuck is he thinking? Right. 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 Was that after you drank the penis thing? Or? That was before. Be I was trying to help him drink it. What? Oh, that's why it was, right? Why'd yeah. you do that? I blacked out. Don't remember it for some reason, but... I, I heard could get a producer up here and I didn't hear anything else. Which means that. a assault colonnade? Dun, 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 the funny thing was Montante was looking back and forth at that little <laughs> bottle debating just p taking it down. I believe Just it. because he was so sober for, for if, 24 I, hours. If, I, if I accurately portrayed how like glum Montante was after like just the whole <laughs> Montante of it all. Glum. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think he bounced back quickly. I guess. I think I was saying, uh, Jeff D. Whoa, he said everybody was broken after Sacco. Well, it was a weird like producer's like, you know, how they, like, he was serious. Obviously, he broke Tommy Quinlan. Yeah. Like, it is a weird thing. Like, Mick was all pouty and, like, you know, it was just a strange. I do think we're, we're probably all in agreement that Montante, in terms of like content for the show, would have been best, right? No, I don't actually agree with that. No? I don't like Montana. He's a madman. I don't like him in there. I, I just think he's too... No, okay, uh, but like I, like if he were sitting here every day, just take away the yeah. take away the button pushing, you think he would be good on the show? I don't think I want him every day, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, like, I don't want... like Mike in twice a week is great, but Montante is too... Like, it's too... Like, I like him in every couple of weeks. Okay. But if he was in every week, wouldn't mm. that die down eventually or no? With the uh, man, well, you'd get used to him, I feel. I you guess. Know what I, mean? I, don't know, I don't know how many layers there are. Yeah. It's not as complicated as Mike. You know? Yes. Right. right. <laughs> uh, yeah, An I, onion. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I like Monta. Uh, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I was, Do I'm a Montante guy. So. Gus I like, or Montante? You know, I, like, I like Patrick Ford. I was thinking that yesterday when yeah. I was running. Yep. He doesn't say much. He kind of sits there. I like that. I really good enjoy tweets, him. He's a good yeah. He's yeah. kind of yeah. a zero, but like a good zero. There's bad zeros and good zeros. He happens to be a good zero. Right. Yes. An educated man comes up with great golfer. Great golfer. Great golfer. Yeah. Great golfer? Yep. Oh, were you golfing with him in that no, thing? No, we were talking about it. Yeah. How the hell do you know he's a good golfer? They I think he lie. was like trying to go pro or something. Does he play in your bowling league? No, not Patrick. Uh, Kevin from Bristol's in the other league. No, I know, but, but no. shut the fuck up. Who cares? What the hell are you two talking about? You're on the air, you know. What the fuck is what kind of conversation is that? I, I thought but, that he was because someone told shit? me. No, no, no. He went to he went the to fuck my is Kevin from Bristol. Shut up! I don't care. <laughs> fuck, shut fucking shut up. No, no, no. Who who so who is in your bowling league? <laughs> Is that the right terminology? Does he play in your bowling league? Uh, Does he bowl? Does he roll? Bowl. Yeah. Bowl. Play in your one. league is not. That, that was seem... impressive video of Gus hitting that solo. The walk pin. away. Uh, I like that video. That was good. That was a good video, Gus. That was for good. You. That was a great look. Good for the show, too, huh? 
It was good for Gus. It was good for Gus. It's a little playground. And they want to tweet about stuff. Anyway, what else? What were we talking about? What, what, what led to that? Gun control. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't. I'm, I have oh. no brain for I have no brain for guns. <laughs> so I don't. I'm kind of with you. I don't. Uh, but the There pro- has to be a but good But the problem reason, is, though. is like, even like the other day when I tweeted out, like, this is happening in the U.S. way more than anywhere else. That's just a fact. And everyone's like, oh, you can't even have a conversation with these people. They are. I find the extreme right gun crowd is the exact same as the extreme left abortion crowd. Like, you just can't have a conversation. With do you think you, because you have admitted mental health issues, obviously. Yeah. Do you think you should be able to own a gun? No. No, I would have shot you, I don't think you eight times. Able, yeah, I don't think you should be able to hold a gun. No. I think technically I could get a gun. I know blind it, people can in general. You have mental health issues too, though. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm the, trying to think. I, so I've been diagnosed like, as on medication. But I mean, you're blind. Could I get, you, sh- you should not have a gun. I, I don't want one, but I'm saying we'll I think, get you one if you want I it, think technically I could get one. It depends on the state, but most states with red Are you a gun laws, guy, Gus? And I'm... I, I shoot recreationally at, okay. at a range, but I don't own a gun. I go, like, I use friends down there. Chris Kyle Coleman someday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's... it's the it's range, like, huh? It's like Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, some of the red flag laws, it can be if you have... I mean, this is, what, this is why, why you bring this stuff up, Dave. I, I, hate, yeah, talking, I hate talking about guns. Sorry. Yeah. All I know is, once again, it's not going to change. Look at the camera for that. That's, <laughs> That's beautiful. That's That's powerful. Powerful. No matter, no matter what, what hashtag are you going to use on TikTok for that? For for that? For the gun yeah. control, yeah. I don't really make up specific hashtags. It's all different algorithm ways to do it. I didn't want it. a real answer. I just said it. Okay. There all you right. Go. Well, <laughs> don't worry about it. I, I, have to, I have to deal with it. Everyone's, Everyone's roasting Coleman today for some reason. <laughs> Poor Coleman. <laughs> yeah, he's just taking it to that. He's got, he's got a thick skin. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. Gus has got the thickest skin, I think. But yeah. What else? Um, do... Uh oh. Um, no, no. Uh, I was curious about this because we talked about it uh, off air a little bit last week. But Mike went to the Dave Chappelle show. Uh, we talked about it off air. No, no, no. Uh, Mike, <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. what? I covered it pretty extensively on the Blind Mike project. But I could get into it if you would like. Why Mike done? I was curious about it. <laughs> Let's because... pretend we didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see Chappelle. Did I see Chappelle with Hulk Hogan this weekend. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Am I dreaming that? Look that up. <laughs> Dane, Dane Cook did open for him at uh, the like, show I went to. What's that? Dane Cook opened for him at the oh, show. I, I, thought said, I thought you said Hulk Hogan did open <laughs> no, for him. No, no, no. That'd be great. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm seeing nothing about no? Hulk Hogan. No? Am I dreaming I saw, this? I saw a picture of Hulk Hogan with somebody. Yeah. You're right. This weekend. What's the deal with airlines, brother? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't dream that. Okay. No, yeah. Hulk Hogan tweeted. I've had weird like, crossover dreams. Like, I, had the, I had a dream the other night that Portnoy reached out to me and he's like, I got to meet you somewhere. We got to talk about what we're going to do the next mini golf thing. <laughs> I was like, well, why don't you, like, we're talking now. He's like, no, fly somewhere, I'll fly somewhere. Just figure out where. You figure out where, you let me know. It would be so great if you just woke up and texted Portnoy about it. So where are we flying into? <laughs> He's just like, what? I, like, I found this course in Wisconsin. It looks pretty nice. I don't know if it's open in May or what the weather is. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw the Chappelle thing. Whatever. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. I was, I was made up. Like, Misreported. Dumb. Yeah, it was a shocker. Like, what a yeah. fucking stunning turn of events. Yeah. How was the show? Who's good? He's he was sillier than uh, he has been in the past. Where he, it got very preachy at the end, like the Israel yeah. Palestine stuff did happen at the end where he got into that. Right. But the rest of it, like he kind of made fun of himself for talking about trans stuff and shit like that. So it was lighter hearted than well, his that's last. That's good. I think I think we could use that for him. I think. Right? Yeah. 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 Um. All right. What else? What else? Gus or Did you get this? Ta- somebody tagged me that uh, maybe Curtis said, or maybe it's Wiggy said something about the hockey player who died. You see this audio? Ooh, this is the, oh, Mike, this is like the, this is like watching this is like Wilbur and Bernstein. No, but I'm like just asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. And they said that. I don't know. He's going said. into the hotel with a. <laughs> I, I don't know what he said. You're just asking questions. You're saying. Did you did the show account get tagged in audio mm. that, from Wiggy? Basically, Jack. Hey, he'll be a tough one to take down. Eh. No. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Adam maybe, Johnson maybe was that his name? Like, yeah. Terrible. Yep. I don't like that. I also don't like. I listen. I'm, I'm all for the freedom of the yeah, press. We'll find it, Gus. Get on it. That's a, is that an assignment, Dave? Yes. All right, get on it, Gus. Uh, I, I understand we're in America, freedom, uh, but I don't like that, like, photographers are at Matthew Perry's house, like, or, like, you see this with, like, taking pictures of his parents right yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. I saw Wolfgang Van Halen quote tweeted, yep. and, like, I'm with my guy on that. Like, it's, I, 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 I like, it's, I understand it, but it's, it is gross. Like, it is fucking gross. Yeah, and I'm sure all, like, the cast members and shit, like, their phones blow up the next day, where it's, like, I guess that is their job to get a quote from some of these people. Is Tom Selleck went in? He was on Friends. He was. Mm. Yeah. And famously almost cucked Chandler. Hello, That's police right officers before. here. There is? Yes. Hello, sir. 
That's our that's our that's our producer officer. Yeah. yeah. Can you put them in jail? That's Hi. fine. That's totally <laughs> fine. Oh, you need me oh, to move? move? Oh. Is it just his car? Yeah, just that one. Okay. Alright. <laughs> he'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> Is that okay, yeah? Yeah. Okay, he'll do it right now. Alright. No, you're Thank good. Thank you. I want to check that car is too, officer. <laughs> <laughs> the heads up. Cuff and stuff this bird. Yeah. Wow. That'd be great if it turns out there's like actually bodies in this car. We never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> He's killed like 12 people. <laughs> I thought for a second. I thought, I thought this was a Dave bit. No, I was like, just, when Dave was walking down this, when Dave goes, "There's a police officer," and I saw the th guy, I thought he was going to come in and say, "I hear someone's been a little naughty lately." <laughs> That's, what I mean. That's what I thought. I really thought we were like walking like a Dave bit. Yeah, it looks like uh, we've been checking the heights. Of everyone here. It turns out this gentleman, Dave Colley, is six feet tall. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Someone ordered cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of somebody in my uh, graduating police class, Matt Farwell. Seems <laughs> <laughs> like a friendly guy. Yeah. He was a nice guy, yeah. Why would he think why would he go here for that? He probably yeah, went how did all, he he know? Probably, there's only four offices. He probably went to all of them. Maybe. That's true. He could have gone across I mean, that's true, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. So where's Coleman parked? Right on like the side oh. street over there. Oh, yeah. so like where the dumpster is, I'm guessing they have to pull out the dumpster. It's like the old days. I pulled him right behind Colony's car. <laughs> this is a mm -hmm. him saying uh, like, "Sorry to interrupt you guys." This is a fascinating room to look into <laughs> and th like wonder what we're doing. <laughs> if yeah, you don't know, he might, he might have known. <laughs> he knows. He, knows. he, he knows. All right. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling. Yeah. Okay. Good. Feel, yeah. The geek, there was a look. Yeah. You know, wild for all this gun to be if he just fucking shot Colony. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, look like he re officer Austin, look like he's reaching his pocket to me. I don't know. Like, I'm fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> Have any of you been to a massage parlor in the last? Right <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there, the producer of the show, Gus. I am. All right. Did you find that sound? I have not yet. I'm still looking. Do we know what time it was? It, they put me on it. So, like, search my name. I don't know. It could be nothing. I just saw it quick. I'm trying to cancel it. I thought you liked Wiggy. Or actually, hey, put me on the Bluetooth. Let me do the Bluetooth. I'll do it. What do you mean you'll do it? Yeah. yeah, watch and learn. The scum is back. Wow. Uh oh. Sounds like Coleman's bitching. What's going know. on, Coleman? Jesus. What? You all right? What? Yeah. Jesus? What? Yeah. No, that was just absurd. Absurd? What? You broke the law. <laughs> I didn't. He said I was perfectly in the right. You so, roll around with the pigs out there. So, so, so what's over here? What's the? Uh, no kidding. <laughs> what's the issue here? What do you? What are you upset about? Well, I don't know. We're in the middle of a show. I wasn't really. Wait, did the officer's private <laughs> surgeon <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Is that. Is the attitude you give to the officer? No, no. I just. I don't fucking shot you in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Were you parked? So, so you what, know I respect What the is the issue? What is the issue? Basically, I parked in a you're legal over, you're spot. On, you're on this street over here. Yeah, I'm in a legal spot. Perfectly but, fine. But, but the they, they needed the trash can, the garbage uh, truck What if they couldn't? Through. Would they have? They wouldn't have told you, right? I don't know, but seriously, seeing a cop in and ask about a New Jersey license plate, your head just starts going. <laughs> it's true. I'm like those damn parking tickets. Are you gonna get a Massachusetts plate now or no? I don't really know. I I didn't. How's the apartment? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good weekend. Uh, you know, I was kind of working a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you just kind of like? doing the vlog and stuff? I'm still on the uh, idea of the cop being a stripper. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, I don't get out of the question. I don't get out of the question. Well, calling so Lou was like, oh, there's an officer in the hallway. <laughs> I thought it was a bit. So, <laughs> that's what we said. Yeah. I thought it was like a, What's a long hallway? He was walking directly. He's making eye contact <laughs> with me. Yeah. Could have been anything. Who knows? All right. What else? Do you want to try to play the sound? I just connected to it. Yep. You sent it to him? Was it, it doesn't look anywhere near oh. intentional. We're getting a skate. Is at seven. Terrible hockey news over the weekend. Former Pittsburgh Penguin Adam Johnson died after getting a skate to the neck while playing in England. A freak accident, but the death of a 29 year old. Terrible, terrible. And Wiggy, off air, you were just saying, yeah. it seems like they're wondering if it was an intentional skate to neck from the other player. Yeah, because I guess the other player, I forget his name, I'm drawing a blank right now, but they said he's had some situations in the past. But when you look at it, it wasn't. It doesn't look anywhere near intentional. What are you talking look, about? Look at it again. I did. He was. He, 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 it looks he like another he guy kicks him. Yeah, back no, into the left. No. Did you have you seen the video? Yeah. It I, looks I, like it. It, it wasn't yeah. an accident. It doesn't at yeah, all. Not. It was like kind of. There, there was a check. It's stupid. Right, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It's kind of dumb, but okay. All right. What else? 
Uh, this BBC anchor, uh, Laura Trevelin, mm -hmm. uh, this was a headline over the weekend. She quit her job to atone for sins of ancestors who owned a thousand slaves. Oh, good. Well, that'd be helpful, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw, who's that? <laughs> yeah. You know what? We're all a, square now. <laughs> who's that soccer player I hate? She was on the podcast. Megan Rapinoe? No. Uh, Abby Wambach, maybe? Do we hate her? Does that sound right? No. A is it Allie no, it'd one? be Abby Wambach. Abby Wambach? Was Abby her? Wambach is, I don't know. She was on some podcast. The only one I remember is Rapino. Too. Shut up. She was on some podcast this weekend, like, basically apologizing for being white. It's like, okay, we get it. Like, that's We understand. We're terrible. We're white. It's our fault. It's definitely my fault it was slavery, so I should probably stop this show. Well, that's what I did. I quit. I don't have a job. You that's know? true. It was all for you, folks. And we appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. She quit her job because of this? Did she yes. talk about it? Yeah, she basically... It was, dummy. It was during um, the George Floyd protest. She was like, huh... This this made me feel some type of way. Maybe I should check into she my own. Three years to quit after yeah. that. She she's like maybe I should check into my own family history. And so she went to the Caribbeans okay. and found out that she her family did own slaves. And she went and signed a apology letter, like a public apology letter, and then visited all these. I don't think my family owned slaves. My, my my family was in Nova Scotia in uh, Ireland. I, I don't think my family owned slaves. So I'm good then, right? Right. We the best ever with that is uh, Ben Affleck. Oh my God! I know <laughs> they, they reshot idiot. it. <laughs> idiot, morons. Oh really? Jesus! I saw it during Shark Tank the other night, which was a good episode, the Halloween episode. I saw a Jennifer Lopez commercial for her new lingerie line. It was the stupidest fucking commercial I've ever seen in my life. Great pictures out of that, though. She looked great, but I'm yeah, just saying it's the fantastic. dumbest ad I've ever seen in my life. I think. Go, let me hear this dummy from Britain. Oh no! It was just a story. Like it was. Okay, do an impression then, Coleman. You got a sound for it. No. Uh, oh, we own slaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll apologize. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's going on, by Mike Dodnet? By the way, we, more importantly, speak of slaves. Thank you. Well, we talked about the. Uh, <laughs> we talked about uh, the Chappelle thing, like yeah. I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, Matt mm -hmm. Wright. We talked about a bunch of stuff uh, in our world this week. So if you want to check that out, mm -hmm. it's uh, up now. And uh, why are you laughing? Latest episode was Dan Nine, and next week's episode is Howard Stern versus Opie and Anthony. Right. And uh, Quincy tomorrow. Tuesday. All, all the usual stuff going on. Let's Subscribe go ahead, for the year. You get two months free. Was Stern, was there anything funny with him and what's his name who threatened to re retire? Mad Dog? He was like trying to get, he was going to come no. in and. Is Mad Dog like going to wear like a, a bikini, bikini and say I'm a douche or some so shit? Dumb. I, I actually oh, feel like it's Mad Dog now to go on Stern's show and do that. Yes. Definitely. Wear a bikini, certainly. Well, I certainly think. that too, but <laughs> yeah. it's like he's like bigger than Stern now. Yes. Like right oh, now, like definitely, yeah. I feel like that's you know he's doing more than he's ever done. He does like way more. Three hour show, ESPN, MLB, MLB. Network. Yeah, Crazy. yeah. How old a guy is he? Because he's younger than Francesa, right? He is. Yeah. Um, I think there was audio of uh, him and Stern negotiating a punishment. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll play. I want to hear yeah. how old Stern that sounds. Like. Truth. I that's Mad a Dog's good one. Close to sixty, I bet. Now, what, what, what if he has? I'll tell you something. What if he has to give Mike Francesa a hand job? That would that would that would. <laughs> well, I don't know if Mike's going to agree to that. <laughs> All right, you want the truth? You got to do something. See, what Stern like does you that voice still? He's trying to be like the crazy. I think it's even said. weirder now. Yeah, it sounds like you know what you got to do now. Older. You got to give him a hand job, like, and you can hear like the he's, dentures kind of. Yeah, or whatever he's got going. Like he's just doing. He's doing like do the other thing now. All right, get hot, Mikey. I'm going to jerk you off. Yeah, I don't really like dog. Yeah, that's that's like an SNL. When you were a kid, mm -hmm. it would seem like an SNL sketch to be like when they're both fucking seventy. Right. Stern's gonna be like, "You should jerk off, Mad Dog." Right. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> off, uh, I, mean, I, would, I would watch that. I <laughs> yeah. would watch that. Um, any live shows coming for you? You gonna go see Colin? Like Maddie in the morning? Go see Henry Winkler? He's in town. I don't think so. It's his birthday no. today too. I've been to it is. I believe 80th. so. Yes. He's a day born a day before I was. Yes. Yep. Thirty wow. years difference. Yep. Guess so. Wow. I'm a Henry Winkler guy. Dave, book him, would you please? Got it. I'm sorry? Wolfgang Van Halen was a John Stewart. He want John Stewart. Yes, he did. That's program. right. Yep. Well, and we said goodbye to John Stewart a year ago Saturday. Yes. Uh, Justin was kind enough to tweet that out. Yes. Uh, we found out about five months later, but he died a year ago, which is crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy to me. No good Minnesota fans have died since then, sadly. No, we, I right thought knowledge. we'd lose Shattuck at some point. He's not a Minnesota fan. Yeah, we, don't, <laughs> I mean, we don't care about him. <laughs> if you could replace John Stewart with any, like, like, like Matthew Perry with Keanu Reeves, who yeah. would you? What Minnesota fan would you want dead? Ooh, interesting. You only get one. Oh, Menners by a mile, probably. Oh, that's a good guess. Yeah, yeah. Mike. Mike likes everybody. <sighs> I do like everybody. Hmm. That's interesting. Give it some thought here. Okay, we'll take all the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't just say a name to get a laugh. Take your time. This is a serious I question. I can't even think of that. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Mike. You're going to give Menners a hand job next time he's in town, okay? All right, Menners. Okay. Everyone laugh now. <laughs> I would say Kevin from Bristol. He's a nice guy. This is what I'm he's saying. Got kids. He's there to film kids. Gus's bowling events now. Yeah, that yeah. great. Like, that's what the show's about. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Uh, what else? Beanbag Ron. How's oh, that? Wow. How, dare <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> what else? Uh, what would Salad be doing in Japan? Out of curiosity. Uh, apparently, he said he's English a Marine. second language teacher. He's what? He said he's a Marine. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. but I, again, you're, you're doubting. Why you don't you I don't want to get into an Albright thing, you know? Well, no, I'm just saying you think... Uh, Steve's going at this guy now. Oh, good. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> I didn't in. Seen some of that too. Steve is in. What else? Um, we were talking I about. I just said Henry. I just went to the for you part of my Twitter, and the second tweet that came up was Henry Winkler. Wow. Is that uh, how's that? There's, there's got to be the something there. Is that really? That's, you think that's it? Like, there's something in here? Yeah, yeah somebody said it once, right? and it made a lot of sense. You know how remote controls now? You can like click the voice and, and say, say play whatever. It's only to listen to you. Like, it's not for your. Like it's convenience, just it's your, just to, like. yeah, to get that right. data. So you think one time you were just talking about ass eating out loud and your porn <laughs> That is exactly what happened. Exactly. Yeah. How's your masturbation since you've left the show? Once a day. Still going strong. Yeah. Did you do it today, this Thank morning? You. Not today. I'll do it tonight after this successful performance. Sure. I'll have oh, some, good. something yeah, to work right. with. After you get all juiced up from this. Oh, yeah. yeah from that cop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get your blood flowing. <laughs> what do you have, Gus? I mean, we... Went through okay, a uh, Coleman, what do you have? Uh, Kim K, the nipple bra. You see this? I did see it, yeah. What's the point I'm a Kim that? Kardashian guy, so. You know, I am too. I, uh, I, like her. I, I don't know. Do women hands. have nipples? nipple issues? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I guess like it's that. like to show off your nipple. How does it work? Like it fits? Like it, it's it's a, like a little pinched part of the Are you a nipple bra. guy, Coleman? You I play mean, with why nipple? not? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, why? I don't know. It's there, yeah. you know? No, you're right about it that. It is there. Mean Girls famously said they could have orgasms from nipple play. That's right. They're not doing that anymore, though. No, I don't think so. No, no, no. I said, I uh, they, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead, Mike. I was going to bring this up. I was going to say, unlike um, Matty Siegel, I said that Dave should be on yes. the Mean Girls podcast, produce something like that. That would be an upgrade for mm, them. I don't know. Not interested. No, that's not for me. They don't talk like reality TV or anything that like that. That feels like a losing okay. proposition. Too. Yeah. That seemed like a sad crowd. Mm. Maybe what's, you're what's more in the office type of guy? Uh, what's next, I think? Oh, okay. And then Alex Because I think big. four is Alex's Alex, reveal, yeah. yeah. Who knows what's going on with her? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be in two weeks. Did when does Surviving Barstool start? Does anybody know? I no think it's idea. the second or third week of November. Oh, really? Okay. Because if I understood... That one I understand. That. I'll, take, that'll take forever. Yeah, that, that comes out on uh, Thursday. I, the last Thursday of November. Well, yeah, I right. think it's whenever you guys are going to Chicago for the live finale. That's December 10th or something? Or yeah, something? so it's going to lead right up into that. Okay. Okay. So I haven't got my payment for that yet. But hey, what else? Um, you were... Wrong about your prediction Beautiful. on the Bo Boys um, about Five Nights at Freddy's. I know. Well, open one well. thirty mil. That no, that's worldwide. Oh, okay. I'm Yours talking was domestic. Not, Coleman. Okay, yeah, okay. How dare you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Coleman. Yeah, it's okay. Listen, I thought it was global numbers. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, horrific motion picture. But yeah, absolutely. Oh, you terrible. saw? I did. I did. So I, on Peacock though, it was the ah. same, same day. That's the other thing. Day and date. It's still made one hundred thirty million worldwide. Wow. Pretty good. People still want to see it. Yeah, I don't know. You see any movies lately, Colin? Uh, Paw Patrol. Yet. I saw the Paw Patrol movie with the You kids. did? Yep. How yep. was it? They enjoyed themselves. It was good? Yep. Yep. No, I was just finished uh, Yellowstone on Peacock, or what's available. That show's made for you, yeah. Perfect Why? show. <laughs> the perfect who, show. I think you've mentioned this, but who does CBS think they're fooling with these Yellowstone Old commercials? People. Old people. Really? Yes. Old, what, old. what do you mean by fooling? What's a, what's the big they, deal about putting a good show the, on? The, the promos are like, pretending like it's new. Season, season one. Season two yeah, of America's kinda. number yeah. one television yeah. show. But my parents like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They right. like the that, idea of like a week to week. Exactly. Right. It's like old school. I wouldn't mind that, honestly. Like if I was living in wherever, like in Wisconsin or in Idaho, and I was like, oh, this seems like a nice new show. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like, it's definitely false advertising. It was but. it was big enough that everyone would have heard of Yellowstone, I think. I, I guess, but it was also like buried. It was very weird. It's not a weird network. It's only, what was that? 2019 it came out it must have oh, before that no really? I think so yeah I think so, aren't there yeah. five or six seasons I think. yeah but it's one of those ones where they did like two seasons oh, in like one okay. year because it's short it's short seasons gotcha. the show stinks but it's, it's a fantastic 2018 show. 2018 yeah, yeah yeah what else the new South Park came out on Friday yeah they they're still pandering the, you know, they're <laughs> the, the right is the left it's just, uh, oh you're done you're done with the show they're starting to bore me a little bit they're, really? they're a little predictable now at this point like I was not surprised to see that was there They've become like, they're almost like the way Elon is now. Like, oh, 
Yep. There, you know what I'm saying? Or I would. I was thinking more what you say about Burr, where it's like, yes, you know where he's going to go. Yeah. They're like old, cranky, former liberals that are now, like Bill Maher, in some way, too, like wi- kind of wised up to their, right. like, now it's just their, all their humor is just that. But they've always been funny with it, no? I mean, I haven't, I haven't, yeah. I haven't kept up, yes. but like, I like the thing they did when they were like adults now. I watched that. Yeah. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Their voices sound old now, too. Like, Carmen sounds like he's like 40, so it's weird. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. They're getting older. Well, you could not do the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still, I was never like, oh, these are children. <laughs> like, they're, no, they're believable but, but, voices. But to me now, it's like, oh, like, oh, now it's, they're like eight jokes behind our jokes when they're like, hey, all I do is cast black women now in these shows. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you, I know that. And like, oh, this, it's a transgender person. Yep, we've done this. Like, it's like the Bill Burr stuff. Like, we've done this 50 million yeah. times. Like, well, I get, that's my thing with Burr is like, he's had a couple specials that I thought were duds, but in the movie, I thought there were a couple jokes that I thought were good. And that's how I think of Matt and Trey, where it's like, well, they're still funny, even though they're talking about subjects that people on Twitter have discussed. Yeah, about. I guess. But I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll watch. It's on Paramount, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, they're, but the show's on HBO Max. It's the so, deal they have. I know it's a they confusing made out. deal. They, they made out pretty they well. They killed. Like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless them. But they yes. like timed it perfectly, right? Like I feel like those deals totally. aren't going to come around anytime soon. Totally. They yeah. made like six hundred million. They're I like, like that they, they did like, that Red Rocks thing. Huh? That concert they did. I like, like that they that. do that shit like that. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Well, that's also one of the last shows that will probably ever that, that will ever have that. Type yeah, they're of deal. grandfathered in. Yeah. Well, no, but also now every good show that comes out is already on the streaming service, so they own it. Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. No, yeah, I think people, but yeah, I think they're going to wise up these companies and never give somebody that kind of leverage. Yeah, now. I don't think, but yeah, I, I'll watch it. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of out on it now. Do you I, think Chad Finn saw your tweet and then said, "I have to write an article about this" and did it? Because I do. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I do. Because I'm fucking pathetic. I, I happen to agree with you. Yeah, I okay. think he's pathetic since he since I like I was number one. Well, I don't want to do this, but yeah. but I was number one in Boston. He didn't really like write. And it was why. like perfectly timed. Like it was a shitty article. He wrote it in 30 minutes. Yep. And he clicked publish. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he had any sources at all. Well, right. I'm, I'm sure Shirt and Leap talks to him because he's needy and Chad. No, like he had, said Shirt and Leap wouldn't respond to him. Oh, that probably means he didn't talk to him then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't I, think he would. Oh, he, Rich Shirt and Leap? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I he think everybody hates Chad Finn, Finn at this no, point. No, Rich Shirt and Leap would definitely talk to him. You think so? I know because the next day Chad Finn wrote about what a wonderful show it is. Right. Oh. And Fred's not talking to him probably. Right. So I don't know. I'm going to guess with some knowledge, some slight knowledge that Fred would not be devastated if Rich didn't come back. It sounds like that. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds like that. nor do I blame him. But like, I, like I said before, I, I get where Rich is coming from too. That's a tough partner to have. Yes. Where you just don't, like, it's to me crazy that 985 was like, you know what? We, we're going to put all our eggs with Fred here on this one because yep. he well, has got some real issues. God bless him, but he's got some real issues. For sure, but I don't listen to that show, but couldn't you replace... And rich with anyone essentially, whereas Fred not so much. I don't so know. Much. I don't know. Like if it was the, like when you said you said Hardy, who I think would be a good replacement. But if it was Rich and Hardy, okay, who, but, who's listening? Sure. <laughs> but how about when Fred loses it and now it's Hardy and whoever for eight months? The, the but, big fatso who got all upset at the meeting. But then know? that's the situation. That's that's just like having Rich and whoever. no, but Rich is already having that anyways. Uh, no, no, it's not because at least Rich is an a name that's associated with the show. List people have listened to him in the guess. mornings for 20 years. I, that, I guess that's what I don't know is like when I, I, yeah, I don't know if nothing, I don't when listen I to listen it. to your show where I was like, I really like Mutt or Tangway or whoever. You like, said that? They, I did. I like those two specifically. Who I like. Do they have that connection with like Rich? Yeah. Or, I would imagine, yes. right? I mean, yeah, they have to. I've been listening for since the afternoons at, uh, whatchamacallit? Okay. BCN, BCN right? Yep. Yeah, yep. I think. I think he's an idiot. I think he's a cunt, but I mean, hey, listen, he's doing well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Unfortunately, we have to deal with Mutt tomorrow. <laughs> Must be nice. You don't have to deal with Mutt anymore. He texts me every now and then. I'm a source for the Mutt stack. I've told you. Yeah. But you don't, but you never credit cr- Nobody credits me. New York Post didn't credit me. For what? Because they suck you off. Glass that's ca- Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. Quotes Dave's like what? the behind the scenes. The social guy. media thing. I had the what social media. What are you talking about? That Beasley wanted the accounts. That's a Dave Cohen. Well, Ryan Glass would never suck another man off, A. <laughs> okay. That's ridiculous. What? And B, what do you, uh, he wrote a story about this? Yes, he did. You oh, were, did quoted, you were quoted in it, and Boston Radio Watch was quoted in it. I was the first who had the You are Boston Radio Watch, though. And how sad is he? I am Boston Radio Watcher. So how sad is he become? By the way, oh, tagging you on everything. Like, everything. It's embarrassing. It's ruining my brand. And like, did I miss? Like, <laughs> I, I again, Ryan Matthew Perel. Did I miss where this guy who died on Friday was this like huge giant that Boston Radio Watch is tweeting about all the time? This uh, kid. Uh, with oh, Ray, with with the older demographic. Okay, he was okay. yeah. He literally was like, we lost Matthew Perry and this guy. I'm like, oh, the guy was on for what? a long time. <laughs> I mean, okay. that guy was on for a long time. He was a real dick during that. And he liked thing. one of my tweets last week. So he, oh, I will know, forever right, be in his death. Yeah. He was, was he humorless not humorless during that fire filler? I think that's humorless. what I was going to ask yeah, you. Was that, was that 100% serious? 
Do you have any idea if that's like how he oh, is? Oh no, he was dead serious. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I still, it doesn't matter. That's terrible. He died. Yeah, but still, yeah, I, I, I feel bad. That's 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 a shame. I never really knew him other than that. People say he was a nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. His la- I believe his last tweet was like, oh, oddly with the Matthew. His last tweet was like, can't wait to get in this hot tub or something. Yeah, like that. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. All right, what else, guys? Uh, a Mormon mom was arrested for taking her son from Arizona to Alaska because she thought he was the second coming of Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, wound up charged with two counts of custodial interference. Hmm. People are tweeting. People make fun of your shoes, Dave, on your tweet from why? Walked in. I'm just saying. People are tweeting. Just reaction from when I walked in. Yeah, from the walking. I'm like, very uncomfortable with how I'm sitting. I'm crossing these... the legs out of like force, not out of what I want to do. Okay. Um, what would you like to do? Are these pretty I'd generic like shoes? Sit. Though yeah, they're just Nikes. I don't yeah. know. They seem fine. Yeah. What, what, what would you What would you like to do? I'd like to be sitting up forward. I'd like a higher chair. Yeah. Like I like that. Like basically the chair. That's there to dream, yeah. Dave. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all right. It's, let's <laughs> I'd like to be behind the glass. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. you just sink yeah. into that chair. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm a third chair guy. You can tell by the show. I, you like I'm it, yeah. born for this. You like this? Yeah. Okay. Well, we got yeah, it'll be interesting to have Steve here. And then, so I wonder about the Mutt Whitney dynamic. I think Mutt's just going to like giggle at everything Whitney says. Oh, yeah. He's going to yeah, come yeah. in and be all fired up. Do you think there's going to be a lot of like, Whit, let me ask you? Like that yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> but, but Whitney famously said he has wanted to do a show with Mutt before. Uh, we, it's all of our dreams. Yeah. You would agree Mutt Stack has been bad lately. Yeah, I don't really yeah. know the I don't really know the purpose of Mutt's that. Well, now, <laughs> really let me ask you this cuz you get people that criticize you online. Sure. Bad compared to what? Are you a guy that never liked it? What are you looking for from Mutt Stack? Compared to what are the uh, glory days of Mutt's patch of dirt on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, what's the best in your mind? What's the best Mutt Stack? Media, been? all media, all media. Yeah, but that's a limited. No, I'm, I'm saying a limited audience. I'm like, saying an actual so what, example. You're, you're no, you're you're just saying that only. Oh no, it's Kirk never been. It's never been good. I, I can't. Give okay, you I'm saying, what's your favorite mutt stack bin so far? None. Okay. They all stink. <laughs> well, <laughs> then I think you're a guy. You're just a hater now. No, for you know? sure. You're oh, one yeah. of these. I, got, I have a yeah. burner account. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have a couple burner accounts okay. to go after. Yeah. He blocks them, but yeah, I think so. It's pretty bad. All right, what else? I don't care about that Mormon thing, obviously. Yeah, no, it's cool. Um, Thank you. This has been a wonderful show today. It's been great to be here with our old friends. Go ahead. Did he say that? No. no. <laughs> uh, this has been a story just kind of making its way around BC, but the swimming and diving team. Oh, yeah. What is going on here? Yeah. I, I so, generally stay away from these college stories. Be careful. You know, Coleman, be careful. Yeah, I know I've been mean today, but let's not do this. <laughs> what, what is the story? Because I, 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 yeah, what happened? So the swimming and diving team got in trouble for essentially hazing, mm-hmm. um, which they found that it went back a couple of years and basically the freshmen had to go through an entire night. What do of, they do for hazing? Well, they said that they had garbage bags around their necks and that if they threw up, they would have to then eat it. <laughs> after yeah. after oh, forcing them to drink, right? Yes. Like they're, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It'd be kind of random if they just threw up, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> hey, just in case. What are the odds? That would suck. <laughs> yeah. So um, that all happened and everything. The school found them at fault. They... Uh, got rid of the team. Got rid of the team. Suspended the team. Suspended them. Suspended them. So then they caught a lot of flack online on social media and said that people were making fun of them. They couldn't wear their uh, their team stuff around campus or anything out of fear of getting made fun of. And then they had a lawsuit against the school. I saw this. Yeah. Yeah. And then just recently, the judge um, sided against them, basically, and said that the school was completely in the right to do this. And, you know. Do you think they were they doing this? Do. It seemed like they were definitely they doing 100%. this. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So then yeah. they should fucking go away. Like, uh, just, hazing, hazing is great. Just don't. Hazing is fantastic. Just don't go overboard with it. That's it. What do you mean? Have What's a good time. Like, make, like the Harvard thing was nothing. A naked skate is fucking nothing. Who gives a fuck? Well, it could be yeah. if it's a girl doing it. Well, I mean, maybe they were wearing bras. Your daughter? How would you feel? I'm just saying, like, light hazing is That's not light you're hazing, building though. camaraderie. Did you ever hear sort. about those... Uh, I don't want to say, like, yearbooks, but they basically had books from all these old Ivy League schools of old classes just completely naked yeah for what i think it was like their swim class or something Look, i've like told that. if i told i've told the story in this podcast about naked thursday at willis northampton right have i not you did I yes believe you did yes yeah, 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 we, yes we had a kid come in a, a foreign exchange student and one of the guys in the building said you know we should do we we should do this thing naked thursday where we just walk around naked and act like it's totally normal and all of us were like yeah let's do it and we fucking did it we were all in this little room naked like 30 of us which is really weird why not? I think it should have started a trend. That, I'm surprised it's not stuck to that, this day. If that happened now, like the school would shut down, right? Yeah. Yes. But that's also a thing that's possible, like where the duel did not participate, by the way, for the record. Oh, they yeah. did, couldn't find any fucking money. Yeah, no money. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any clothes left. Sure. So. <laughs> we would have been naked then, Mike. And that's what I'm saying. 
But it was Naked Thursday, though. I'm saying I'm surprised you didn't participate. What's the vibe here today? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to leave? What's going on? <laughs> this just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, I uh, hazing makes. I've never been a like an actual like, sport. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like I don't like fucking around is fine. Of right. course, but light gonna, hazing is good. You can't like force people to drink. It sounds like in that situation, it was like you were. They were forcing these people to get blackout drunk. Yeah, it was yeah. a consistent event that went back a couple of years. Like there was always a freshman orientation. My hazing. Se- my senior in high school, a couple of kids on the team were sophomores on the basketball team. We told them for a pre for like a scrimmage, not a regular. We used to have to dress up as a suit and tie for a road game. But right. we didn't for a scrimmage. We told the guys they had to, and they wore ties. Oh, you oh, rascal. Yeah. Then we raped them. Yeah. That, <laughs> see, that, that's the line you're talking about, right? That sounds harmless. Yeah, there's a yeah. line somewhere. So yeah. at first, fine, then. But yes. yeah, that, yes. that kind of stuff is right. like the, yeah. What Coleman said in there, he's like, they couldn't wear their team memorabilia for fear of getting made fun. Yeah, but that, I don't think that's not how college works, really. But that was pretty much a line in what do you mean? one like of the early articles. If they were like a BC swim sweatshirt or something? Yes. I would, oh, look at this asshole. Yeah. 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 No, that that's what they were citing. Well, I could see that. I could see like... If it's cold, but like tough shit if you did right, it. Like, exactly. Right. That's that was their law. Lo- was it was their lawsuit that they weren't doing it? No, it, like it, the, 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 they weren't hazing. Um, no, I don't even think they denied the hazing. So it was a suit about then. It was more so. Let me let me get it exactly. Let's see. Um, how many of those stories that get sent to you, Dave? It's a cancel guy or duds like that wiggy one. Oh, a lot. Most many, of them? Many. Yeah. You gotta learn, so yeah. Oh, so that's yeah. why I have a team. Uh, yeah, we, most, we vet them. If you were doing, but I was here. If you were so doing it behind the scenes, I would have never made it. Never made it. But you no, gave that's little, why I want him to find it. peek behind the curtain. Correct. Yeah. Would he have run with that on his own? Do you think he would have thought that was story worthy? Well, he didn't run with the um, Gresh thing. He waited for me to say the Gresh thing was bad. That is your but, that is your neighborhood. Yeah, it's my beat. I mean, yeah, it's, it's hard, hard to, uh, right, it's hard to yeah. tell us. Sure, 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 sure. Go ahead, Gus. I'd rather call I'm sorry. Shut up, Gus. Yeah, no, it was it was basically that they were suing for the personal pains uh, that, they, made fun of that they suffered oh. by the uh, punitive damage. Yes, exactly. Well, I, don't, I don't even understand like how they could just get must got tossed out right away, right? Uh, I mean, so. they just got suspended, and it was more of a team thing. Do you know any of these kids? Any you don't know any of these kids. No, you? not really. I knew a couple kids from the swim team just like randomly throughout my time, but assholes or no? Kind of weird. They gave me the swimmers weird are weird. Vibes. Swimmers yeah. are weird. I have a daughter who's a great swimmer, but like, you know, she's, they were always. Oh, sorry. What's that? <laughs> Just say, Coleman thought they were weird because they were always walking around with the hot garbage dog bags. Their ass. <laughs> <laughs> they say that was a garbage bag full of vomit. Yeah. 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 Of you think vomit. I don't know what's wrong with them. But I think it's such an insular thing. It's such an isolating experience. I think it's weird. You're always in the fucking water. They practice like crazy, like three hours a day. Shriveled up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, a lot of. Because um, BC doesn't have fraternities or anything. Right. So a lot of club life or sports teams like that. That's how they have their parties and everything. So in terms of an individual thing, like this just got roped into the entire swim team being at fault, which I think was to their betterment. Yeah, too bad. I mean, because if it was individuals, life. they'd be fucked. They'd like, be dead, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. We'll do him done a lot. We'll take a few, because people want to talk to Colin. We'll take a few calls. Oh. If you like to talk to the people, Dave, they miss you. Love the people. Okay, good. I don't think we took calls last week, Mike, didn't we? No. Not the days I was. Uh, no, not at all. Only no. Sunday night. So is that right? Night. The Lord's Day. The Sabbath. Will, I believe. Are we on Will right now? Me personally, or him? yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just in general, like my, uh, he was good on the show the other day, but just like his atmosphere after trying out, I just think he he kind of ruined it for himself. It feels know. a little actorly to me now. Yeah, I do wish he asked him fine, a little about why he the why why is he so. Oddly distant. He didn't give a great answer. I no, like, he, he didn't. just seemed like I was like, uh, yeah, he doesn't. I just don't think he's like very active on social media. And if you're not, it's tough in this world. It's just tough. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the actor thing more comes in. I think when you because when I was in here, you asked him like, why do you want this job? And he goes, Kirk, I need this job. Right, right, <laughs> right. right. Dude, like that one yeah, we had quickly. to like we had to hound him <laughs> to get in yeah. to try yeah. out. Yeah. 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 And after a while, it's like I'm not going to chase Will. <laughs> right. He's a nice guy. Yeah. But like it's right. just you know. What are they doing here? We good? Sorry, the uh, number wasn't going through for a sec. I didn't watch. Was it the all female announced team for the Celtics on Friday night? Oh, I did not watch. Oh, that. wow! Yeah, trying to it's make big. a big statement there. Doris Burke sucks. Oh, yeah. She stinks. She stinks. And that whole crew stinks. Actually, Doc I, Rivers' voice sucks. Sucks. It's, I think it's it's good that like we're society has moved forward enough that at least people now can feel free saying that Doris Burke sucks without feeling like they're going to get canceled. I don't know yeah. about that. I see a lot of it. During games, she stinks. I don't feel. I've always wanted to tweet that the ESPN hockey girl that's on their coverage 
She Woman? fucking Who's that? sucks. Who's that? Jesus, Emily Kaplan. Dave. Christ, Sorry, what are you doing? She's bad. Who is it? <laughs> Emily Kaplan, I believe is her name. Her she's name a is? studio host? She's No, she's like the sideline hockey ice. Uh, How bad like, can you be at that dumb She job? just sucks. I just think she sucks. I like that yeah. Dave's like unburdened now. He's well, like, I feel I've, good. I've, I've always I'm, I'm around my people. This. I'm around. I'm comfortable right now. <laughs> I've she, always did, wanted to Don't they all stink? It's a job where people who stink do it. Yeah, but not like that. Like, she just stinks. She sucks. Jesus. I've not heard her. Okay. I don't know her. What's going on here, guys? The number's not connecting for some reason today. Dave, what'd you do? I did not do anything. <laughs> it says the phone lines are open here. It's not actually true. Uh, right. That end of it is, you lied? but the actual, like, our end isn't connecting. So I'm trying to okay. troubleshoot. Real quick. Good time. Okay, now we're good. All right. <clears throat> nope. Gosh, just gave me a thumbs up, so that must be a good <laughs> <laughs> That, that famously... On his system, that's a positive notion. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you're right. right. That's, just, that's a one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the picture of the mostly sports show that Brandon does with Mark Titus. Mm. It looks a little like like a gambling show den kind of. I don't know. I'm not overwhelmed with it either. I saw one with like kind a of like shitty cagey. brown desk. Yeah, and just like what appeared to be a TV or yeah. a logo right in the middle, that was not what I was expecting the the studio sets to look like. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have no brain. I mean, look at this room. I have no brain for that stuff. But yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't know. But but does it really matter? No, but supposedly they, they, it does for the algorithm and all that. Kind they just stuff. built really? it up like it was yeah. going to be like a dude perfect warehouse. I think it's going shit. to be in like other areas though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. Know. I don't. I don't know anything about it. I don't know. I know all. Yeah. I think there's like multiple floors to it too and stuff, but that must have cost a fortune. Yeah, Penn must have approved that, right? Dave wouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I also think I don't. I have no knowledge of this, but I wonder when Dave bought the company back if there was any part of it was with anything left over for the building of that pen covers. I was just about oh, to ask: Is how yeah. does that work now if well, they're they not were, done building it? Yeah, they were damn completed anyway. I wonder if it was like, hey, it's going to cost another whatever three three hundred eighty six thousand dollars, so three million whatever. Pens like, all right, we'll cover that. Well, I bet the rent is even I mean, rent could be cheaper because they were right across from Wrigley. Oh, we were we were from yeah. trivia. Yeah, uh, maybe it's so much bigger though. Yeah, but it's like a warehouse in nowhere. Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah, where is it? I don't know. I think it's they said it was like thirty minutes away or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, well, Jeff wasn't kidding. By the way, I, you, you probably weren't listening when I was in New York with him. We had a fucking Uber driver who was exactly the same as our guy. Exactly the oh, same. That was rough. I thought you were going to fucking vomit. It was on disgusting. Me. That was bad. You would have eaten your own. I would have made you eat the vomit. <laughs> I have never felt that way bag. before. <laughs> I've never felt that way before. That was the worst driving experience. I've I still don't had. understand why you didn't open your window. I'll never understand that. I'm getting sick. To, honestly, talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't time, like it. I think I was just trying to like breathe, and I, I don't know. And it was endless too. It was yeah. fucking oh, endless. But yeah. did you open your window? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that fuck up the? Don't you get the uh, I no, the yeah. noise thing? I didn't, I didn't even care at yeah. that point. I was just like, I, I, I put my head out the window. Oh, I'm seriously getting like, I'm getting dizzy talking about it. It's fucked up. <laughs> With Are you loaded up? Yes. All right, hold on. Loaded. What's that, Mike? With the Chicago office, do they get? Do any of the shows that are like moving out there, does that like fuck them with celebrities? Will they get people traveling out there for them now? I mean, other than part of my take. That was like take, the point of being in New York. Other than part of my take, I don't know who else, who else they would have that, right? And right. I don't think, part of my take, I don't think they were banging out in-studio appearances that Not all of them. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. Wasn't, it didn't feel like a lot of foot traffic. Definitely post-pandemic like yeah. pandemic and stuff. It feels like it's less and less. Yeah. But they'll yeah. go, who was it? They Remember they thought they might get Brady at one point? Yes. When I was there for the Ryder Cup, maybe? Or some some event I was there, they were gonna fly. Like they'll fly for people like that to them. Yeah. But no, I don't think I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna fly. It's not like you know, Rogan or something. I was gonna say because Rogan hasn't had a problem, it doesn't seem, but I didn't know if they were that Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean their they're biggest big, they're big enough. Their biggest well, guests sure. though, like uh Caleb and Glennie like travel to that. Yeah, they go for, for Sunday things, combo. Right? But yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. More yeah. importantly, what airport would they be flying into <laughs> they to get Who's to say? Who's to say? All right, hello. Hello. Oh, he dropped. Okay. Hello. Kirky. Good morning. Let's solve the uh, mystery of where Jerry Callahan is. Okay. He's in Washington, D.C., uh, helping to write the new gun laws. His big take is to make all the guns pink. He always would say that. He'll end all the gun violence. I used to love that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of conversation you try and have with the guy. You know, it's just unbelievable. All right, thanks for the call. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. 
Hello. Boy, the Republicans get awfully quiet when there's a mass shooting, though, you know? You don't hear much. They don't have a, a, a standard argument no, to go against No, it's basically like, it? Jerry's argument is, is like, well, it's, you know, what, what, what are you going to do? What are we supposed to do? Like that kind of thing. Right. Like, you know, what are you... Nobody's talking about the shootings in Chicago. It's like, okay, those oh, are... Oh, yes, yeah. that's, that, okay. there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, those are, those are shootings. Once so, a, like, non-white shooting comes up, then they're like, oh, but you'll yeah. never hear about this yeah, one. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, well, that was a shooting as well. Okay, yeah. let's talk about that then. Like, but doesn't doesn't matter. I am considering joining the Democratic Party. Wow. Wow. Yep. I don't your, agree with them on anything, but just <laughs> to piss people off, I might do it. Is your senatorial run still in play? Uh, I can't comment on that right now. Mm, okay. The problem is the sitting senator, of course, is a Democrat. That's Elizabeth what Warren. That's why I, am. Yeah. I could beat her in the primary. Defeat her, I should say, in the primary. I don't want to get myself in any trouble. <laughs> yeah. In the uh, in the primary. I, I, yeah, yes. To answer your question, yes. Would you go with a Trump tactic and wear like a feathered headband? I would. That's my favorite Trump one uh, ever is when he was talking to the Native Americans, the older Native Americans who fought, I think, in World War II or something. And he's talking to them in the office and he's like, there is a senator from Massachusetts. I named her Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't like her, but I like you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I, now I know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. I like you. <laughs> it's, it's a great picture. These like, guys are like, what the fuck is this guy? This guy's the president? Well, you know what's weird? As I heard, you guys played that clip a lot on KNC, and I always assumed he was talking to children with the tone of it voice. It sounds like he's yeah. talking to elderly. <laughs> That's how Trump talks to elderly people. Yeah, okay. Too. Hello. Good eye, Kirk. Hello. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Can I speak to your former? Can I speak to your former producer, Dave, for a minute? He's here. Yeah, a fellow nine and a half. Dave. Oh, he's nine and a half as well. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's a mess. Is he one of those m- m- nine memory five. issues or no? Is he what? Is there a Hemsworth who has memory issues? Is that making that up? I don't know. One, the, the younger brother was married to. Miley Cyrus. Sure, I understand. Probably yeah, him. Of course. I'm just standing Chris Hemsworth and Dave next to each other and being like, these two are equal attractiveness. <laughs> tell you, I can never get over <laughs> Dave. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> Dave's, Dave's only reaction to ask a question about somebody's what celebrity they're in, no matter what. He's like, uh, yeah, she, he was married. That, that's it. Well, you brought up a thing. Uh, who the, he knows who no they're married to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead. I thought I read that. Could be Chris right. Hemsworth, uh, was, he said that he had an increased risk, risk for Alzheimer's. Thank you, oh, Dave. See, yes, see I remember Dave? that. Yes. Yeah. All right, go ahead. That's why I'm calling. Dave's not a 9.5. I'd like to give him a proper rating, if that's okay. Yeah, sure, Chris. Go ahead, yeah. Well, you take away that facial hair. He's hardly a Sydney six kick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it's it. Strictly based on looks, of course. Uh, strictly based on looks. Some other looking defect that uh, his hairline's receding faster than the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> hair is not good. Uh, ankle biters like rubbish. Yeah. And yeah. I'm looking to think that uh, if he ran face first into a wall with a boner, he'd break his nose. <laughs> 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 Dave, you're a 7.8. That's not bad, Dave. That's not I'll terrible. Take that. I'll take that. That's not terrible. Some I don't agree good. with it, but I'll take it. Yeah. Well, thank you, Chris. Can I say something to your new producer? Yo, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Coleman, buddy. So we got to tighten up those tits. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Get me, get me in the gym, bro. Yeah, he's hiding. He's hiding some milk monsters underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell him to go jogging, but I'm afraid he'd end up with two black eyes. He's <laughs> <laughs> that post-college <laughs> sort of. Oh, sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to get in your way. Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay, Kirk. Uh, <laughs> download my app. It's called. Center, get yourself into some good surfing shape before the diabetes gets there. Okay, Coleman. <laughs> good eye. Good. There you go. Thank you. Well, that's uh, nice to hear from a celebrity. Little tip, go. Coleman. Those will get funnier in the next six months. <laughs> <or so>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh. realize the Hemsworth boys were Australian. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I'll be there. There you go. Hello, Kirk, Florida Drip. How you doing? Oh God. What do you What do you want? J Dog. Shut the fuck up, Mike. Just wanted to, just wanted to clarify. I don't need your, I don't need your, I don't need your clarification. Trust me, I, I, I managed to somehow fully uh, analyze and understand what you said the other day in the show. I managed to, to get that around my brain. The only thing that makes it, the only thing that makes it interesting is if Clemmer also does this. A random person just doing it at the theater near me, as evidenced by the first time. No, I'm talking about more. I'm talking about more. You're, you're, you're begging me to pay Mike Montante, which while I'm running, listening to this idiot. 
I realized this is a guy advocating for Montante who invited him to a Bruce Springsteen concert. It was like sleeping he over his, his house. let his children hold hands with Michael Montante. That's what Montante called his hand. That, that was mischaracterized a little bit. That, that was mischaracterized by Montante. The most religious thing said no that night was your daughter Montante. saying, Jesus Christ, and Montante put his dick in front of him. That's more direct than we usually get. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, at least the drip can laugh about it. I'll give him that. That's points for me. <laughs> It was even funnier I thought of it the other but day. No, I, I, I did a little skip in the air. Did, Mon did Montante rape your daughter, uh, Color? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that trip? What do you got? Uh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's a good sport. I'll give him that. I don't hate the trip, but he is a trip. Any more so than anyone else, though. Yes. No? Yes, Mike. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Are they loaded up, Coleman? Yes. They're loaded up. What grade would you give Coleman uh, so far, Dave, overall? Oh, I'll give him an A. What? Yeah. Well, doing a great Sounds job. like you wouldn't. Show's, get, <laughs> show's getting out there. What grade would you give uh, Gus? I'd give Gus a strong B. Okay. That's yeah. not bad, Gus. I'll take it. Yeah. Are you a call name guy? <laughs> I am a call name guy. Yeah. Call name or Steve? Steve. Okay. What'd you think of the list? I'd give Gus a D. <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think of the list? list? I'm not into the list stuff. I'm going to be honest with okay, you. Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, cool. But as a, as a fellow content creator, I know about killing time. So I you understand. Got, you got, yeah, listen, yeah, I understand. <laughs> this is an en endless thing. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say, originally, it sounded like Dave didn't know what the fuck you were talking about, because clearly we were asking about making fun of Gus for the list, and him saying, ah, I don't pay that much attention. <laughs> He's a cool guy. <laughs> He's a cool guy. Hello. I'm Keith Morrison with Dateline NBC. I yeah. podcast, the trendy frontier of modern storytelling. But sometimes the story behind the microphone is even juicier than the ones being told right, on on air. Participate in this one. Meet Dan. <laughs> See ya. I fucked that up, but Bill Hader does do a good impression. Hmm? Bill Hader does do a good Keith Morrison. Okay, good. Thank you, Mike. Hello. Look it up, folks. I've seen it. I've uh, seen question it. Question <laughs> for Kirk and yes. question for Blind Mike. Okay. Kirk, have you ever been to the Main Street Cafe in Concord? Is that the one on, if I'm going in the center from like, say, Lexington, it's on the right-hand side? Correct. Yes, I have. Great cup of soup and grilled cheese. What are you doing? Are you typing something? <laughs> are you eating something? What are you doing? Kirk has been. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you typing? I was typing something. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You have a question for Mike. Blindmike.net. Yeah. Uh, blind Mike, Keith do you know tuna there. can cock by any chance? <laughs> Want to get one's, uh, say it again? Uh, do you have a tuna can cock? Uh, meaning girthier than it is uh, long? No. I wish. What do you ask, friend? Right. A less normal voice, but also just like a weird, like Kevin. Sort of thing. I was really hoping he was going to start typing after that one. Too. <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy can cock. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is Gus Kasem. Welcome back to the Minifan Talk Forty Countdown. <laughs> okay. On our next segment, we have a long distance dedication. Robin writes in, "Dear Gus, my husband just got a new job as a barstool podcast producer." I don't think he's very good at his job and just gets made fun of all the day. However, the other night he brought home his coworker for a little sleepover. Oh, and let me tell you, he didn't need to brag about the size of his cock. <laughs> Jeez, he Jesus. When he went to bed and I came in and shut him off because we can't afford the electric, extra electricity. Well, no. I fucked his brains out. I just <laughs> for him. Gus, can you play Coleman's Big Cock by Steve the Liar Guy? Wow, Thanks, well, there you go. Robin. There you go. Well, Robin, here's Steve the Liar Guy. <laughs> Coleman's got a big old cock. Well, Coleman's got okay. a big old cock. <laughs> okay. You go all the way. <laughs> it's appropriate until then. Uh, how long would he have got? How many lyrics did he have ready? <laughs> you wrote the song? <laughs> uh, you load up, Coleman? Yep. Hello. How you going, Kirk? <laughs> Hello? Hello, it's Minas. Uh, How yeah, you I've, going, Kirk? Uh, fine matters, thank you. I can't stand Trung, mate. Can't, tr oh yeah, you don't I like Trung. Trung. 
You don't like the trunkster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I saw that this morning. And besides, mate, mm-hmm. earlier this guy sounds like he's got a fake accent, mate. Yeah, that wasn't good. Sounds like a fucking cunt, mate. Well, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mavis. Thanks, buddy. Hello. Hey, good morning. Uh, hey, I may have missed this. I don't pay attention to everything Barstool related. You guys remember when um, you made fun of Brandon for screwing up that high noon ad for saying how bad he thought it was? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I've been watching the yak the last few weeks, and now Big Cat can't do any of the high noon ads. Did I miss? Did he have like a similar incident that do you guys oh, know I of that I missed? I don't know if that's true. I don't, so. I don't, I don't think. Don't definitely, he would not. I don't, I don't think Big Cat would do that. No. I, I don't know that, but no, I, I would be very surprised. Yeah, gotcha. All right, I was just curious. He he can't read the ads anymore, so kind of weird. All right, can't or doesn't? We may have a different uh, partnership. alcohol partnership yeah. on part yeah. of my take. Uh, I see this even at like um, like in surviving. They'll go around before a contest and be like, "Oh, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? Mm-hmm. Can you do for booze okay, and stuff that makes like sense. that?" So yeah, the, yeah, even yeah. the golf thing, like the yeah, I think four points truly right. Yep, and at the Ryder Cup, I know they couldn't wear. They have different apparel than we had for the Ryder Cup. Like if you watch our matches, they have different red shirts, say, in the final. Frankie oh. Rappaport, say. Yeah. Different uh, beverage company, but there was an incident here that I thought they were going to rectify. Here? Yeah. In the show? Yeah. Like, we were notified about something. What are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. Like, we're, you're supposed to be consuming an only type of beverage. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I, go, I, I go on my own. I know. Yeah. So my, as you I know, my own man. Hmm? I enjoy the uh, body armor. Wars. They're very good. Oh, they're here. Yeah. Oh, they're here. Yeah, we have. Oh, good. Yeah, That's yeah, always yeah. my question. Good. Yeah, I just didn't get to it today. I should have more provided for me, but of course, you know, it's my favorite happens, kind of war. But whatever, right? so I, think my own. I think we're out of the last shipment. No, well, there you go. Yeah. All right. Hello. Hey, Dave. Did you hear about the corporate pillow? It's making headlines. I didn't hear about the corduroy pillow. It's making headlines. You said. It's making. It's making headlines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Headlines. Yeah. So that, that's the kind of uh, humor you'll get on uh, Quantum Kirk. Airs on the network 8 p.m. Eastern <laughs> on Monday night. Fantastic. And Kirk, I'd like to make sure there's no I ambiguity like here. Um, it seems like there's been some, you know, it, it seems like you think maybe your invitation to join us has been rebuffed. I want to make it very clear. We would love to be no, no, have you on no, the show and no, no, be honored. No, no. Davey, to be clear, um, I, and, rescinded, and I, and I, I rescinded, I rescinded my, I am not going to be appearing on the network because you're, CEO, who I want you right now publicly to condemn. You do not want him to be CEO anymore, correct? Well, if it's going to cost us this, I mean, look, this whole thing, you made the offer well before that. And I think there were, again, I, I should have reached out personally. Now I'm making it a public I think that's offering. Okay. Yeah. And, and maybe it's, maybe it's too little too late. And I, and I apologize. I disavow anything I have to do. Just have you on the show, Kirk. You know? Okay. Okay. So you're, so you're, dis, you are disavowing matters as a CEO of the network. Well, if he's going to go and, and you are disavowing or him as this yes or no, I disavow. I just dis- fucking vow. Thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you very much, Danny. He, bro- he broke the Patsy Geller news. You see that? He what? He's the one who broke the Patsy Geller news. He did. Yeah, yes, he so did. Thank you for that. Which is really, if you think about the, what was going on? Very there. concerning, but it was <laughs> information we wanted to know. Yeah. How often does he Google search Patsy Geller? <laughs> yeah. I did see. I did read her obituary though. Yeah, very nice. I did see that. They load up Coleman, I presume. They are. All right. Hello. You're on with Mike Geary, Dave Colonnade, Andrew Gustus, Coleman, and myself. I enjoyed the corduroy pillow line. So if anyone on the on hold has one of those, I'd like to. Yeah, <laughs> somebody was giving away. Somebody at the trunk or treat was giving away the Mr. Beast D's nuts candy. Oh, at, yeah. those at an yep. elementary school. I just, I don't That's know. fun. Dave, Dave, you were doing fucking coke at the last. Year, <laughs> <fucking trip>. <laughs> <laughs> You were, you were shit facing him with coke hand last so year. I wasn't, I wasn't giving away. So now, now giving away kids candy, you're upset about that? I don't know. The it's sex and D's drinking nuts. a drug fest last year, and now you're, you know. That's different. That's for a adults. leather clad for adults. <laughs> This Harry, is candy being given to kids. Harry and I, Harry was telling me all about how Mr. Beast makes, he said, $2 million a day. That could be true. I don't know. Because I said, who's richer, Logan Paul or Mr. Beast? And he Mr. said, Beast. definitely Mr. Beast. Yeah. I think that's mm, Although Prime is now, Prime Prime is like now, now valuated mm. $5 yeah. billion. Yeah. Dollars. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know the answer to that. But so, Mr. Well, Beast Mr. buys Beast like now. towns. and I think if Mr. Like, Beast made a Prime equivalent, he beats him out easily. You see, you can't, you're second to the race now, though. It yeah. doesn't matter. He oh, has that uh, much power. You think so? Yes. He's international, too. Yeah, well, doesn't he have some food thing? He's a burgers. And yeah. Mr. Beast Beast burgers. Burgers. yeah, it's like yeah. Feastables is what that, right, the right. brand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. remember, he had a burger opening at that mall and they yes. shut it down. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And he's suing that company. 
I believe. You're suing the com- his own. It's like a, it's a company Ghost that Kitchen makes the burgers, thing. and they like he doesn't have his own. Re- like maybe that was one restaurant, right? But you can go get a Mr. Beast burger at Bertucci's or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he was suing the company that did. What's that, bigger, yeah. Mr. Beast burger or Callahan Coffee? Tell me the truth. You've you've seen the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, yes. Callahan Coffee. Is it big- wow? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good. I didn't realize that. Yes. Well, yeah. Is he still is he still hawking that or not? I haven't heard I it in a long time. Are you around for that or no? No, yeah. that, was a, that was a Craig yeah. invention. Oh, I, is it? No, whoa, no, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, do you mean on wow. this sh- on this show? Yeah, on this yes. show I was. Yeah. No, but you weren't Jerry then. I'm oh no no no. Yeah, yeah okay no, okay. No. What, did he, what was he? he? Took a sip and said what? Good Gorm- shit. Gourmet shit. Gourmet shit. Hello. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two oh seven. I shouldn't do something like that, right? Because there's no uh, what was yes. that pedal? Hot yes, chocolate? I don't drink coffee. No, but there's got to be good. some product you can get into. No, adult drinks hot chocolate, Mike. I'm, I'm the only idiot. I'm, <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> In the winter time, it's fun. Yeah, it's a year. I don't drink beer. Cookman hand eggnog. It That's could be saying. like a, like an offshoot of Stella Blue. You know? yeah, that's what I mean. We've already got, we're already cornered. Kirk's with that chocolate. One. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Guys. Kirk's cookies. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't want to. <laughs> That's a very tricky. There's a big. I've noticed, said, it's a very, very tricky space. A lot of I've, you wouldn't want this either, but a lot of uh, quote celebrities are doing alcohol brand different right. beer, yeah, beers, and yeah, I'm not doing yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I'm not going to do that. Good Shark Tank uh, this past week, Halloween episode with Jason Blum from Blumhouse. It's actually hmm. pretty good. Hmm. Although Robert has got a lot of that. Is that filler or f- what's the Botox? Yeah. Anything to make people like him. Ugh. Will you accept so, a deal for me now? So, I'm not Robert, I swear to God. He Barbara, made a deal the other night, but it was with Cuban, of course. So. Barbara's yeah, real yeah, estate yeah, videos yeah. are the worst in the industry. They're just the worst. Why don't you? I was, you should reach out to her. When I was at uh, Surviving, I was across the street after uh, uh, it was over the last night. I saw a huge building. It was a Corcoran building. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying she doesn't do well. I'm just saying she doesn't really know where. Why don't you yeah. reach out to her? You should. Maybe I should. Yeah. Always consulting the best in the business. Hello. Barbara, how, you know Bro- how many families you could fit into this shower? That Why are you so mad about this? Why was I thing? broken after something? Like, what about no, me? No, he wasn't saying you. He was saying the he producer did at some candidates. Point. He did at some point say me. Jesus, you're so... No, but I just thought I wanted you're, to know You're why. helping your case by keep bringing this up. It well, seems like you're triggered by it. I don't know. Just a reason to yell. I thought you liked you Jeff. Know, I like to yell every day. You don't like Jeff? I'm, like, mixed on Jeff right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's gonna upset him. You like I didn't him. like how he treated my guy Mick. He's kind of making fun of him with the shirt thing. Mick sent him a shirt three weeks later. It was a half shirt. Listen, I'm a Mick guy. I'll defend him. Throw Jeff and Dave defend his seem... performance the other day on the show. <laughs> I can't do that. That's, that's <laughs> a bit too far. <laughs> I would have done like Steve was kind of a pussy at the Sacco oh. broadcast. He was gonna do the two producer. You can't do that. Like you can't what endorse you the two producer thing. Steve Robinson. Yeah, he wanted to do endorse two people and you stopped him. Oh, you, you can't. Do that. You can't do that. No. He didn't you, know. But that would have been my <laughs> that would have been my endorsement. Would have been Montante with Mick. Yeah, that would have been fine. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Well, I, th- I think if they worked in the office together, uh, Jeff and Dave would be. Bull- I could see them. Their personality. Oh, I like Jeff. Together. I just didn't. Know, I thought he said me, but maybe he didn't. I don't know. Okay. We'll, yeah. we'll make sure we get that corrected. Okay. Hello. Good. I'll text them. Yeah, good idea. Hello. Right now, Jeff's in an argument with Andy Mayo on Twitter. About, <laughs> I do like Dave. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Jeff D. Love this morning quote tweet uh, sneakers. So we know. Oh, uh, no. We know he's got his shit together. Right. Yeah, now. Yeah. Hello. Is it me? I think so. I think so. Talking to you. I think so. Uh, So, there was a tragedy in Lewiston this weekend. Go ahead. Much worse. Having to listen to call a name. What's that? Where are you going with this? Wait. What's it? What's what's it? What's this? Steve, by the way. Steve, who? Is it Steve Robinson? Yeah, this is Steve. I I I fucking hate having to listen to Dave Cullinane on the Kirk Minahan show. This is an atrocity. What's wrong with you? Like what? the worst <laughs> is it? That happened to people in America. Is this actually Steve or no? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually Steve. What is your issue with Dave? <laughs> I was complimentary to <laughs> Steve. What is your issue with Dave? Uh, it, he's horrendous. We, Fucking we, making fun of me at the Kirk Minahan show in Saco? That was a quick call. Like, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> four <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> Psychopath. That was racist. guy fucking sucks. <laughs> and I've endorsed him for so many jobs. That's that true. Oh my God. And then lost or given up. What are you so Fuck triggered off. about? What's Fuck happening? <laughs> That's the weirdest He's call. Thursday. Thursday. He's He's Thursday. 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 Do, not, do not hang up on him. I'll say that. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe the call's not about me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he must be terrible. Would you hear his Keith Morrison joke earlier? Forget Dave. Jesus. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> You're in on Thursday, though, right? I am, yeah. 
<laughs> Get some sleep. He's tired. I think. Yeah, I'm tired. Jesus okay. Christ. That's true. That's true. Get your shit uh, together. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> uh, I've done plenty of sleep. I still fucking hate you, Dave. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I don't fuck with that. You know, you, you bad, don't. You're you don't. You're awful. You don't hate Dave. You don't hate Dave. That's not true. I, I, I hate the fact that Dave is in the studio right now because of what it says about how you're feeling. Me? Are you drunk, Steve? Yeah. What do you mean, how no. I'm feeling? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Did he call the regular line? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, how, what do you mean, how I'm feeling? What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I saw this. I saw this when you brought in Chris Clemmer. This isn't Steve. Is this is not Steve. This is not Steve. Steve? I, I screenshot not. the number, please. Yeah. I have the number. So I'll, I'll, he yeah, said two oh seven too, didn't he? It, it is a two oh seven number. One second. Last on air in twenty twenty one. Prove it's you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk, why are you calling me? I am calling. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Saco police <laughs> didn't do the best job with this Lewiston story, but they need to do a wellness check right now. Steve, where are you right now? We can help you. I'm at home. <laughs> I'm excited for Thursday show. Can I come in? <laughs> I'll produce. What, what, what do you mean? I'm sorry, with Clemmer, what are you saying? There are moments where you bring in low talent right. dummies. Sure. Like Chris Clemson. Yeah. But or meaning Dave yeah. Cullinan. Meaning what though? I mean, that's kind of the fabric of the show is stupid people. I mean, Mike's here. Does he like me now? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> does he respect me? <laughs> he, does, he, does, Mike. He, does. he likes you, Mike. No one respects you. Okay, good, good, good. I would say I would say Mike Mike is actually the smartest person in the studio right now. Smarter than me, you're saying. <laughs> oh no, no, sorry. The second, okay. excluding oh, you. Yeah, okay. yeah, Jesus, yeah. I was gonna say that that that, that would those that would be. Jeez, yeah. I mean, are you okay? You I was very complimentary early I'm, in the show. I've never heard you like this. Is unusual. This. I've heard you weird. I've heard you upset. I've heard you down. I've never heard you like this where you sound almost like even more insane. Zooted in some way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I mean, it's been a tough uh, seventy-two hours. Sure, sure. That's true. But we're gonna we're gonna yeah. we're gonna work on that though, right? You and I. You're not in a hot not tub, a are you? Record, but... What was that, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see you Thursday. Goodbye. I don't even know. I don't even understand what just happened. That would be the weirdest call in show history. <laughs> That's very weird. I can't believe you, did, you didn't pick up on that early. I don't. I'm usually good I at didn't that. think. Yeah. That, I definitely yeah. didn't think. Honestly, it was my Rowe. brain would be wired. It would never ever be him. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, even like I started thinking it wasn't him at a certain point. It didn't sound like him. Do you think Steve thought like this isn't landing, or, and kind of, or do you think he <laughs> but was it like? Really did I, think he's long, I think he's long conning for Thursday. I think this is that's not his, start the that's not his not, way. Yeah, no, no, I don't know. That I would like surprise it, me. I think Steve tuned in for a little bit, heard Dave criticize him, and got oddly triggered. But that, I mean, that's criticized. Yeah, he's not even criticized. He that must was, have been on hold before Dave said that. That was like was. three seconds. Yeah, he was on hold for about five minutes. Yeah. When he got triggered up. And that was it, saying you can't endorse two people at a live show. It's not overly critical. Oh, you called him pussy. That's right. Oh. <laughs> you did. You did. Oh, I said it was a pussy move. You yes. called your, your pussy list Yeah, but that was nothing. That's what I said. pussy yeah. list today is long. Uh, what do I have? Three people? I think <laughs> your mother's. dad. Yeah, my dad was being a real big pussy this week. That's what I'm dad. saying. You yeah. had your dad. You yeah. had some, who else was it? Almost like I used that word. Just well, don't kinda... be defensive about be, Steve being defensive. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. No, no. You think Steve's a pussy? He's acting like a pussy if he's mad at me for calling him a pussy. That, is that phone call a pussy move? That phone call was great, though, so I'm fine. That's with all that. I'm asking you. Yeah. Is that a pussy-sensitive move? No, yeah, I think it's right. funny. I think he heard his name and he called. I think that's a good thing that he did it. But that's the know. strangest that, call in the history of the show. That, I was going to put it in the, the pantheon. I with, shouldn't uh, say that. There's been some weird ones. When Kevin from Bristol called oh, and that was, screamed at Justin yeah. and hung oh, up. He had me one time. Or he was, <laughs> yeah. But he's a psycho, too. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Huh. I guess well, we'll yeah, take, it's in that I'm not even sure what to do. We'll take a few more, I guess. Eight five seven. Kirk John Sears from the Kego. How John, how are good? Finally some normalcy. Hello, John. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little shook, but, you know, hey. That, that's you know, the strangest call. I, I think I'm a, because of who that is, Mike. Kevin's a fucking. That's the strangest call in the history of the show. Yeah. I mean, Steve listens to the show. Yeah, I don't understand. That was weird. 
Because it's also weird for him to not save, like, have a couple jokes, like, ribs to culminate on Thursday. Well, we, all, I mean? we all hate Dave, but, like, that's not, you know, I don't really understand that. It would be weird if he wasn't coming in, but he's going to be in here in three days. That's why I think it's calculated a little bit. That you're, you, you don't know Steve. Yeah, yeah I, don't I don't think so. so. Yeah, impulse take, took over. You know? that, but you don't think that was a Steve thing saying it for Thursday, do you? Oh, no, 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 no. To the strangest call and show history. I'm going to tweet that out. <laughs> but, <laughs> Kirk, I did want to just say, as you mentioned too early in the show, rest in peace to Roger Azarian. Uh, a great yeah, season one, probably the greatest, yeah. maybe the best episode in season one. And by the way, light years ahead of like mental health like, yep. episode, yep. really, yep. like decades ahead of it. So Matthew Perry, who was a, who was a, uh, one second, John, you know this, but Matthew Perry, who was a very good tennis player in, in actuality, played the tennis player Roger Azarian in now two one zero. Brandon was a sports reporter for the uh, school newspaper. And he was covering him, but he's Roger's pressured a lot by the old man. He wants him to be great, and it's driving oh, Roger oh to the verge of suicide. Oh god! And only one man can save him. Friend of the show, Jason Priestley, playing Brandon Walsh, wow. saved the day. He did it? No, he did not. He saved him. No, he, he killed him. No, no, oh, no, good. No, 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 no. And like all of these shows back then, after uh, we got to laugh from John Sears, <laughs> after uh, after uh, after Roger's saved, we never see him again. That's the way TV was back then. You, know, you yeah. see it now on Quincy all now, the time. Like, oh, well, goodbye, friend. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Yeah. Was there, you know what, was Matthew you know Perry Chandler that? yet? Oh, no, no, no. This is way before. Okay, this isn't like a special, like, hey, look who we got. No, 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 right, no. This right. is, no, no. This is season one. This is like 90. This okay, like, I didn't yeah, know the yeah, timeline. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah. No, Matthew Perry did guest on the West Wing after Friends, though, during it. Yeah. Go ahead, caller. Uh, John, I should say. Uh, I, I've kind of an early uh, for tomorrow, uh, the, the Halloween episode with Kelly. Mm -hmm. uh, you know when she dresses up, and, John, and John, 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 John. I know. Don't you, don't ask me if I know that. I know that. No, 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 no. I know. But did you know of the two cameos in that episode? That you know how it's funny. You just talked about that about how back then people would reappear on the show mm -hmm. as like four different characters. Yes. The first guy who approaches her at the party. Do you know who he is later in nine hundred two one zero? I don't. He ends up raping her. It's the same actor who rapes her. He goes up to her at the party and goes, oh, well, my father knows you. And then she goes, oh, buzz off. And okay. then she meets the cowboy. And yep. I, because I looked at the guy, I go, where have I seen those cold dead eyes before? And I, I knew where I'd seen them. Yeah, they did that. They did that with And then, you know how the, yeah, good. You know how the cowboy, you know who the cowboy is, who, who, who brings her upstairs and, and I know and him. he tries to, I know him from some, what, what, what else has he been in? He's been in stuff. If I if I give you, he was a guest. He was one of the most famous guest stars on a show uh, with the most famous, the most richest comedian in the world, Seinfeld. Okay, <laughs> tough, tough. Which one? Oh, J uh, Jimmy, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's Jimmy. Yeah, he's Jimmy. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. touch Jimmy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Thank you, John. But uh, John, John, John. Thanks, honestly, I'm still reeling really about the Steve thing. I don't really <laughs> get it out of my head. I don't want to. You know, I, 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 just, I hear you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, John. Hang in there, buddy. He sounded like fucked up or something. He didn't seem himself. Do you think that he not was... not fucked up in like a? I'm saying he didn't. He seemed like he hadn't slept in days or something. Does he do like edibles and stuff, Steve? I think he has, but I don't yeah. think that's that would surprise. That would surprise me if he was calling like fucked up at. I just get full drug eleven in the morning, now, whatever. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it's, maybe these stakeouts get you. See, a guy like Coleman's interesting. Like Coleman doesn't. He listens to the beginning of the sh old C, but like you have to know Steve how weird that call was. I think. Yeah, I got like Gus understands. It, it, it did still feel pretty yeah. weird it, and awkward. Yeah, that's why I had to like keep checking over yes. and over. It's, that's why I called him. Doesn't. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was. I was being serious where I was like, Dude, say something where we know him. it's you. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was going to ask him like a question about South Carolina, but I was like, God, we probably said in the show. I was thinking of different things. I was like, I'll just call him. Well, the timing kind of, his last call was like 2021, like August or something. So yeah, I, but he was probably on the road at that point, right? We probably yeah. talked to him when he was mm -hmm. driving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. I'm, I'm a little I'm a little worried. I'm hurt. Huh. Uh, you're hurt. I'll, I'll move on. Why don't you be worried? Uh, that was a, that's, he's a friend. For his he, love? Yeah, you're right. This I'm guy's recommended you for several jobs. I know. And I've, I've been very complimentary of him today. We called him pussy a couple of and, times. And I got to say, like, I would think the joke would be me. I've, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I've bombed a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the joke right. would clearly be me to be like, oh, I fucking hate Cullinane. It just seemed weird. Right. Called you, well, you didn't say you're smart. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, comparatively. Very strange. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I'm a couple episodes behind that I've been catching up. And I just finished the one about the list of the top 50, uh, 
people are most important to the show. It's Ellie Schnitt, not part of that. That's list. a good name. It's Ellie Schnitt. Yep. It's a good name. This is part of the reason. Good point, caller. Thank you. Uh, we'll take a few more. Uh, the um, I, this is the other thing when I was, was on Twitter. Like this is what I'm talking about. When mentors like I want to grow the network. Somebody proposing to do a show where they talk about the best looking male Minna fans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like fine, whatever. I like do whatever you want. But how does that grow the network? Well, is how, he, in, how insular is that? Is he using that as the example of something that would grow the network? Well, I'm just saying, like, how <laughs> how inside baseball is that? That's extremely. Yeah. What does that have to do with this show? Right. Like, who cares about the Minna fans? Like, I don't even understand it. Mm. You should have like a real wrap up type of show. I totally agree. But like, like, I agree. Pay Mike to do it. Sure. Like, get well, an Mike's advertiser Mike's or whatever. Buy Mike on that. No, but like, have you know, obviously, like Stern does or whatever. I, I've said that forever. You know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah my, have, so my problem with doing. Because um, I think me and MHB did a couple of those early. On. It was always weird for That's me because I mean, I'm, it's always I'm like, on the show. So you think I'm a hack guy, dude? You are a hack guy. Oh, You've established yeah. yourself as a hack Nick guy. Nick Coleman? Oh, I, That's I, like you know highest, I love the hat. It's the highest form of respect I could give another person. But you're right, Mike. We always do it like half-ass. Like, not half-ass, but like, oh, let's do this. Let's do that. Justin did it for a while, remember? Yeah, no, yeah, it has yeah. to be like a it was Justin Gussel, professional. I like, honestly, I, I think so, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah I've been, I, I was on a couple times with Justin. That's what I mean. It was always like nothing against Mike. Like, they, these guys yeah. were trying, but we were like, uh, and then something happened, then we yeah. stopped doing it. Well, also, well, I was but you're saying, right, Dave. We're gonna do I think it's a shame it. that like Mutt would have this perspective, but he would think that that's a bad thing. Like, if you he think was blow him, he would think that, which I think is a shame because I don't think that's blowing him. blow you. No, definitely not. But I'm not a host. I'm not good. I'm not even good at third chair or whatever this is. So. Steve agrees with that. <laughs> yeah, Steve, Steve, yeah. Steve just pumped his fist right now. And he's like, <laughs> That's for yeah. you, Steve. The other hand has got a gun to his head. Yeah. Right? So. He's in a dumpster yeah. in Lewiston. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But but my no, what I was saying was I was on the show. So like when I was on Mike and the Minifans, if I was like... Guys, here are my thoughts on stuff that happened this week. It's like, well, I already did it right. three times that way, five times. No, I'm, I don't care. They can do every insular show they want. I don't care if they do best looking. No, but what's his name who did it after the producer? What the hell is the stupid guy's name? Like Baba Booey. He yeah. was like the oh, co-host oh, and there was John was the host. Well, I always thought I liked what Chris and Ken did because they weren't on the, I, I came up, I told them to do that because right. they were on the air, but not that much. So they right. gave a different perspective. But they're and, on the air too much to do that, I think. I or am I wrong? And Ken is a trained radio host. But they not. can also take you behind the scenes of like what's going on. Okay. More than we can. Like right. I just leave. Like they can be yeah, like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. Mike could definitely, Mike would be that guy. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known that. No, but you would know. You know more than if no, it wasn't very them. Mike's it, very smart. Yeah. No, but they <laughs> they can't host it, right? So well, I don't. I don't think that's Ken. I mean, I know Ken's a host, but like, I mean, they could do that. It's Coleman. Coleman, Coleman you, would you yeah. ever listen to what's Pod? <laughs> I heard a little bit of it today, and I liked it. Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. No, Coleman they, they, they yeah, could host. No, that. I know, but I'm saying if Mike didn't want to say, like, you could do a producer's wrap up show every day for 12 minutes. Yeah, but I don't think he'd be super comfortable doing it. I'd be perfectly fine. Wow. Have you heard what's Pod? Like he said. But it have to be like nice. With quick, what Kevin like Chris that? did well was like sort of behind the scenes stuff, right? And you know, but no, but it sounded professional still. I would you agree. Had the big radio. I would agree. I, I'd be fine with that. No, I yeah. think that's a good idea. But again, now we're talking about something that like used to do it. Then three weeks later, they won't be doing it. No, 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 no. I, this well, would have to be a like it. you hire these people to do the wrap up show. But right. they did. Justin and Dave did it, and the problem was it sounded too much like what Ken and Curtis were doing. Right. No, that correct. was a complete right? ripoff. Yeah, that yes, was which is a shame that you canceled that. However. <laughs> Then Justin and I tried to do the okay. regular rap you did, which I was, did? Yeah. Uh, was completely rational. But okay. I hated that it was named after the Kelly Clarkson Justin Guarini vehicle. What was it called? With from Dave Ju McCulley? From oh, Justin, Justin McCulley. McCulley. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, one or two more, Coleman. Yep. Good God. Oh, uh, I'm worried the, about Steve. I'm worried about Steve. Well, maybe I shouldn't mention this. It's off topic. Oh, go ahead. What? No, maybe but, uh, him mentioning Baba Booey mentioned to me that uh, someone came up to me at the wedding this weekend. And asked, they said, I'm a big Mena fan. Am I if I take a picture? I said, of course. And he goes, you know, last wedding I was at, I took a picture with Baba Booey. I was like, well, you're working your way down the list. <laughs> I'll take a picture with them. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Hello. 215. 215. Hello. Hello. Uh, a couple questions for Dave, if you have a minute. Mm hmm. Dave, so presumably when uh, you were working for the show, you were making, I don't know, 75, 80 grand, health insurance, all of those things. Mm -hmm. And now do you have anything steady? I'm working freelance, uh, three clients no, right now. Like, and I would wish I, I wish I had more actually, but, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I didn't take health insurance from here. Use my wife's health insurance, but 
And yep. So that's got to be what a fifty percent pay cut at least. Nope, definitely not. He's making three times as much. Yeah. No, no but really? I'm not. I mean, he's asking the question, so no, no. I appreciate your candor. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Is it the same? Not the same, but closer than you probably would think. Yeah. Okay. He's growing. He's growing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would I, like, I, I, I did like it. before. <laughs> like, so I was one of these people what? that are worried about how much money we make. Justin just, <laughs> yeah. oh, people are obsessed with that even with me, which I don't get. Yeah, Justin nice. just quote tweeted my tweet about the strangest show in call history. Thanks, caller. And Justin Trudeau said, Jeff D. Lowe was right about Sacco breaking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And because of boner salad, you won't have that sort of wit in here on front. <laughs> I'm going to bring the translator. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I want to get a good one, maybe. Kirk, hey, it's Bronson Roy, how are you? Bronson, how are you? So you're looking for a good one? <laughs> I know. It okay. didn't What's up? Out. <laughs> hey, so uh, I, don't, I don't think Coleman's a pathological liar by any means. I okay. just thought it was interesting that but? Um, we didn't dig into the fact that he didn't pee in the morning before they left the guts house. Well, I, I, I found that astonishing. Mike goes a long time without it. peeing either. No, no, you're right. So Coleman Davis said that he stayed over Gus's house, slept through the night, got up the next morning, did not urinate until he got here, right? Yeah. It's like 15 but, hours. But they woke up and left, right? Yes. There was time to go pee. I I'm not, I'm not saying that's not it. the point. I'm saying you weren't sitting down having breakfast, having coffee. No, no, no. Did you shower at his house? No. Would you pee in the shower if you showered in his house? <laughs> Probably. Did, did you yeah. desperately need to piss when you got here? Yeah, it was like okay. forefront of my mind, like, oh, shit, I got to pee that, as I, soon as I came in. It's a long, long time, though. And that traffic, too. He's young, but that's a long, I mean, like, I got to pee now. Like, that's, that's, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. It'd be great if Gus finds footage of him pissing in the, <laughs> in Gus's house. Peeing in the shower is, is to me, like an underrated fun Top thing. To do. Oh, it's the best. Top yeah. Yeah, it's I like to kind of spray it like on the like I it's a totally free moment. Yeah. I never would until I mean my adult life when I started hearing people say they would do that all the time. Did you pee in the shower I'd at never, the hotel this weekend? No, you did not urinate in the shower. It's not because, because probably because I didn't do it as a boy. It's I, it's not a thing I do. Oh, at all? No. Oh, okay. Would you like pee before you went into the shower yes. so it would be out of your system? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay. All right. One more if it's any good. Do you pee in the shower, caller? I, I'm rabbled. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Everything else, there's like a pall over the room. It's like we're just taking more calls to see if Steve calls. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kind of Kevin with, I'm just over Kevin with calling, asking a question about Colleen's mother-in-law. That's it. Now I got Steve I, calling about these fucking. You know. Can I say what's weirdest is when we were pointing out as it was weird. It didn't seem to break the tent. Like he was never like. Yeah, I, I guess. I, yeah. I thought this would work or something. Right. There's yeah. a little delay with the phones too, and that made it sound weirder. Yeah, yeah. But it did. It was him though. It was him. Hello. Hello. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Perfect timing. Hello. I have a question for Dave, and I have a question for Blind Mike. Okay, go ahead. Just like old times. Dave, do you think Big Jack, Simple Jack, has, has the capability to suck his own penis or no? Hmm. Interesting question. I don't hmm. think so. Hmm. Yeah, he's got a gut. He's got a gut. Do you have just, an old man gut now? Yeah, yeah. Do you need to work on that? Are you worried about him or no? He's lost some weight. That's good. So, but as yeah. a little guy like that, I would imagine it's not a well, long people distance tend, to travel. Gen generally tend to sort of puff out, too. That's tough. Oh, okay. swells. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to accomplish that. Does he, does he lose weight by actually exercising and no, dieting? Just or just dieting. He eats eating less. Yeah. yeah, that's yep. good. Yep. That's good. Uh, go ahead. Uh, question for Mike. I'm sorry. Well, I'm Mike. Who does a better job choking on your testicles, Alba or your mom? Hmm. <laughs> a better Who job? Who does better? Who does better? A better job when we go with Alba. <laughs> Good. I think both gals are tremendous, Good. but Good. yeah. Good. And they will choke on it. <laughs> yes, they choke. <laughs> they choke. I gotta say, the... They're not a coat choking hazard, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the calls, guys. I think that'll be a good way to wrap it up. Hmm. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> Uh, BlindMike.net, of course, go there. Thank you. Uh, the hits are when? Oh, stop. Oh, I just tweeted out. Shut up. What, what, I just like to do it in the morning, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Yeah. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay. Let's get a little, let's Not get every some day. steam. Not every day. No, when it's on a weird platform. Like, a uh, platform sucks. It's the only place you can play music. So. Yeah, why is that? Oh, well, we've talked about that. Music, right? Like, here we can't play anything right now. I have to pay for music. Like, if I wanted you to play, do the hits, you couldn't do it here on YouTube. No, you, you, well, no, you get demonetized. You'd get yeah. demonetized. Yeah, you, That's could, what I mean. you could do it. I don't think the video would get taken down. But they would get rid of the... No, they mute it now. Oh, like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the Eagles are famously 
Yes, you get it every time. So if I played like uh, in the city right now, it would just be gone from the episode? I think they'd either mute it or that it'd get cut. Yeah. Or here's, you'd have to prove you have the rights. Here's right. my thing though. Like if you're streaming live, right. could you play it and then keep the full recording of the show and re-upload as no, its own separate? Nope, nope. The platform I use, you can't even keep the video on demand. I'm Why saying you shoving your, your testicles in these people's mouths, Mike? Is it yeah, against their will or no? These peoples? These yeah. are loved ones. It's your mother. I mean, it's <laughs> inappropriate. I don't know. I can't believe Gus has gotten his ass eaten out. Like, and it's just... I don't think anybody believes it, Dave. I mean... I don't know. College is weird. That's true. Yeah, I, I do believe that. I don't oh, yeah. believe Gus would... I don't I think that's I a think one-to-one girl, exchange like, I, I, necessarily. I think of it as a dad, though. I think this girl, like... Woke up in the morning one morning, had lunch at school, went to class, I then went to a party, saw him, and was eating his ass. That night was this her, girl, fir- that girl, night was her say, first kiss. This girl probably didn't have yeah. a dad, was, most likely. What's yeah. That? yeah, that's true. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> yeah, mean, let's be honest. Yeah, it's, that's probably true. I mean, what was her backstory, Gus, without saying who she is? It was just someone from high, uh, college that I knew. What's her backstory? Like, what do you mean, what's her backstory? How she ended up <laughs> eating my butt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what led her there? <laughs> her backstory is who? Did she have parents? Yeah, she has. She has like parents. a normal upbringing. Yeah, normal upbringing. Great girl. Was a cool person. Hung out. We liked each other. Getting emotional about things. this? No, not getting emotional. It was just a one night stand, right? It was just no, like a hookup. It, no, it was. Oh. A did you feel like you were going to ejaculate while she was doing it or no? No. Okay, it didn't turn you on at all. Not really. Yeah. It, I mean, it felt nice, but that was about it. What's oh. okay? Gus had a great. I, I tweeted out uh, my favorite quote the other day when What's Gus that? was like, "A man when a man gets aroused, he's gonna see something. He gets aroused, he jerks off." <laughs> <laughs> he was testifying. <laughs> Godfather two. Uh, all right. Uh, well, uh, uh, Whitney and Mutter here on Tuesday. Thursday, my schedule. I don't know who Steve Roberts is doing. Dave may be back Thursday. It could be God very so- a very somber okay. show. Yeah. Tribute episode. You might have, you might have killed Steve. I hope I didn't. I really that was wild. I don't even understand. I don't understand what happened. I mean, he's always done the I hate Dave thing. Which yeah, but is fine. Not, but that was just unique. The, the yeah. fashion in which he yeah. did it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was just. I don't know what the. I'm telling you, this is this is. Hmm. Did he ever call you, Dave, just like your phone personally to put you on before? Like, I, I think what just is throwing me off is that he came he through the, the call the screen. Line. The, the call line. Yeah. yeah. I just picture him calling. Like, it's like, you know, it's like uh, busy. He's like, oh, fuck. He's just going to keep calling to make this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't quite, like, the, the, the connection kind of fucked up his right, joke. Every, right. Everything was off. Yeah. <laughs> it's Steve's usually like, you know, yeah, it's because he's got a good bullying thing over calling him. But now it's like he's lost that. Right. He's lost that now. That was weird. But now you can take, now you can bully him a little bit if you want to. It's not my style. Right. You now you can that. play the cool. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. We'll be at Milton's on Thursday, this tour for men. Dave, you're welcome there. Uh, Milton's.com, Social Plaza, Braintree, Chestnut Square, Chestnut Hill. We'll be at the Burlington Mall. Uh, Peter Millar, uh, of course, all the great. Uh, John, uh, uh, Tony Bahamas, I'm wearing right now, Vineyard Vines, John Leo, Peter Millar, as I said. Um, go to Milton's.com. Take a look around. We'll be there Thursday getting all our stuff, getting ready for the uh, fall, winter, winter. This, this week's going to suck. Tomorrow night's going to suck for Halloween. Like the 30s. Oof, oof. Don't like I know. That. I know. I know. I'm, uh, it's, it's not right. Uh, I wonder what the weather was October 31st, 1974. 1970. I don't want to say 1973. Oh, uh, I got you. Four when I was born. 50 years ago tomorrow morning, right after midnight. Up, I'm sure. Yeah. That's hard to find because I looked those up. I remember with the um, KC's of one, we were trying to find the weather in Brockton that day. It's actually kind of not super easy to find, but mm. now at newspapers.com, it actually is. Um, yeah, yeah, I may have it here. It says Boston was a high of 62, low of 48. Oh, yeah? Okay. There you um, go. That's 10 miles. 72% that, that percent humidity. That can't be reliable, though. Can't be reliable? No. Like, even look at the Karen Reed case. They talk about how many inches of snow it's a rainy there day and all yeah. this stuff. Well, we talked about that with... Um, in Soton that day. Remember, it was like this huge storm? Yes. It actually didn't snow that much yep. right there. Right. It was like two miles away. She was, was making like, arrangements to, you know, have her car cleaned and or whatever, parking spot cleaned. Remember that? Yeah. Yep. But she never drove that car again. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Have you got rid of your OnlyFans account for Sunny yet or no? I have. I check in on that. The research never that, stops. Yes. Yeah, so no? check in on it. <laughs> mass eating there. Right. Our guy, Jimmy Penty. Yep. Jeez. Did you ever masturbate to that site? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I did. She was a. She's pretty dirty. There's a lot going on. I don't there. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with our porn star, Coleman? Nothing. I mean, I mean, that was pretty much where it was left off. It was like I'm gonna maybe be in the area at some point. I'll let you know then. 
Okay. Was she on What's Pod? Never or no? No, no. She was not. Okay. It would be a good get. Yeah. It was BK. What's her name again? Uh, Kaylee. Kaylee Gunner. Kaylee Gunner. Do you know her name or no? I just know her from hearing him obsess about her. I do not observe that. Creepily. I do not observe that. Very, that was like, or he wants that? to like say he's friends. Like he's friends. Yeah, we're relatively friends. Friendly. Wasn't that Coleman's like first day where he's like, I have a porn star if you want her. <laughs> no, no, that was it didn't, didn't come up naturally or anything. Uh, he's got a crush. I, mean, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have a crush. How old is she, Coleman? I have no idea. That's why I don't, I don't have a crush. I don't even know anything about it. Who is she? Who? What? She have tits? I don't even like her. Uh, she's, she's 26. <laughs> so she's in your age range. Yeah, that's well within the 30. Yes, that's right. It's within your... Yeah, there you go. Huh. All right. Uh, so go to Miltons.com as well. Dave, welcome here anytime. Of course, thanks for joining us. Uh, you take the boys out for lunch after? Nope. Getting out of here. <laughs> you get real estate stuff today or no? Uh, I have something I just have to check in on, but nothing crazy. Okay. All right. I have a sick daughter at home, actually. So. Oh, you do? Uh, yes. Drop drop and mom, huh? Nope, she's at home. Wife works from home. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, uh, Mike, we'll see you uh, Thursday. Very good. I go to blindmike.net. Coleman, anything else you guys want to promote? Uh, vlog tonight. Vlog tonight. Yeah. Okay. Gus? Good. Look, the vlog looks good. You were showing me from the beginning. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> from, the of, from, the from the beginning. From the beginning of time. <laughs> vlog, the beginning looks, of vlog looks good. <laughs> <The> vlog <laughs> looks good. He's been showing me from the beginning. <laughs> he, showed me, he showed me the beginning of it. it looks great. Okay. There are times where Gus sounds like someone who hasn't spoken in like 15 years. Yeah, it's and like he's, he's like been unfrozen or something. <laughs> yeah. He actually looks like that too. Yeah. So, what were you say, Gus? Something else or no? No, just um, we got the top 20 list. One week left for voting. Okay, because <laughs> that's still happening, and maybe sure. maybe Wednesday morning I'll go head to head with the hits and actually get the Whoa. get Whoa. the uh, parody hits up. Wow, I don't I don't, like, I don't I don't like that move. I don't like that's a problem. <laughs> I don't like that move. I, 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 I'm, I'm actually not signing okay. off on that. That's right. Dave came in there today. You know, you st- that's not right. That's not right. No, I listened to the hits. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't listen. That's what you're supposed to hear in there. So in the early morning, I'll check in and see what's going on. Oh. It's madness. Why would you even do that? Yeah, it's crazy. It's I, I managed what? to figure out I'm in there. You can't even wrap your brain well, it's around not like, it. It's not like I'm talking stories or anything like that. I'm just like reading the chat. You think I want to hear you t- tell stories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, I mean, you'd rather out. hear like, I don't know, a news-based thing than me, I would think. Your 10-minute news show? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why aren't you starting that? Yeah, oh, that's your thing. My what did you thir- miss? My 8 to 13 minutes? <laughs> yeah, <it's never laughs> not, it was never my thing. Mutt I was never, telling Mutt should never do it. Much should have reached out to me for that by now. I agree. I happen yeah. to agree with you. Because, Absolutely. Because what's he doing right? What's he doing today? Nothing. I don't know. That's why I argued with you before. Not arguing with you, but he should yeah. be doing more stuff. Tinkering he be posting on Friday's must every day. He should be posting what's seven that? videos a day. He's. I mean, there was a Patriots game yesterday. He's probably getting his thoughts ready. Yeah, yeah everyone's doing it on a Friday. <laughs> but yeah, after the Patriots trade six guys. <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're back tomorrow with Mutt, with Ryan Whitney. We will talk to you then. Goodbye.